Welcome back to Collider Live, the best show on the damn YouTube. Woo! We've got a full house today. I'm Roxy Stryer, sitting across from the evilest of all time, playing the drums and the tambourine, Serena. What's that? Como like? fan. Hi, oh, everyone. Stop. What Thank was you that? for What's that instrument. I what? Think, but this was a cello. Oh. I felt like it was but a also, drum. Or, or I was also trying to slap the bass. A slap the bass. Slapping I thought it was bass. slapping the bass. What's the Mexican guitar called? Just the guitar. The guitar? No, no, no. Oh, like the big one. Yeah. What? I don't. Guitarron? A flamenco guitar. Thank no. You. You Were those like the voices of Josh Makuga and Mark Ellis? <laughs> Yay! Is that what's happening on the show this, this morning? Yeah, Mark Riley's still clapping I, over there, too. I, I, well, look at this. I know. This makes me happy. Full house, baby. Ellis in a Canadian tuxedo. You guys can only see the top half of it. but It's he's got because a this isn't Mark Ellis. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is a, this is a, a doppelganger. This yeah. is a <laughs> clone? Canadian Mark Ellis. Yeah. yeah. Look, cloning technology, we can do it with Yoda. We can do it with we goats. Can. And yep. now we've done it with Mark where we cloned him. And this Mark just happens to uh, <laughs> work on a undisclosed <laughs> docks location <laughs> in Poughkeepsie, New Jersey. I'm going to call you baby Mark Ellis from now on. <laughs> I feel like we need a whole different name. Like, who is your alter ego that appears on Collider Live? I don't know, but he's probably like a like his name is like in the Rick family. <laughs> Mitch. Rick, yeah, Rick, Rich. Rick, Rick Blaine, Richie. Well, I, I feel like most most Ricks dogs. like start out as Richard because their parents are like, oh, he's so kingly. Let's name him Richard. <laughs> and then around age like six or seven, you're like, ah, uh, you still got the cow lick. Yeah. I think he's a Rick. Yeah. Mm, well, or and they a start dick. calling him Dick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. more of a dick. Is... That's kind of tough. Cody yeah. Hall, did I hear you have a suggestion for his yeah, name? Yeah, I was suggesting Mitch. Mitch. Oh. Mitch. Yeah. Mitch, right Mitch now. is a good. I would yeah. need. Mitch good. Mitches tend to come with a thin mustache. Yes. Then get one. You yes. can grow one, right? Mm. I, can, I think I already have done the job. I just need yeah. to get rid of this other mm. crap. Yeah. Mm. Mm. No, oh. putting my foot down. I don't want to see it. Uh, <laughs> I, don't see see it. I don't want to see it. I'm looking at your face right now. It's a really good looking face. Don't mess that you up. You know, I never knew what Whoa. a pencil thin mustache was because there's a Jimmy Buffett song. It's just like a nice, pleasant pencil thin mustache. I'm like, yeah, man, you should get a pencil thin mustache. Then I saw what one looks like. I'm like, oh, dear God, don't get in his van. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not exactly. very good. Yeah. It's the Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> on ESPN. He's got that ridiculous just upper lip hair it's, mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be a mustache. It's hideous. Here's it's hideous. my actual question for you guys because I've been thinking about this for a while. Anytime I see a guy with a big mustache and no other facial hair, is he making a joke? No. That's his statement. That's a real... People really do that not as part of like, this is a, a trendy thing or a jokester thing. Your like buddy that's... Sam Basher has a legit mustache all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't and know apparently what we're you do not here. approve of. Whoa. I think that <laughs> wow. you have you're listening, to, Sam. I think it's I the face. <laughs> I think you have to look at the face. The face will tell you if it's a joke. Like, like you, when Josh did it. Th that face tells me it's a joke. It's a joke. Mm -hmm. that now, if I look at a Tom Selleck, is Tom Selleck joking right now? No. He's definitely oh, no. He's Tom not. Selleck is serious as fuck but, with yes, that beautiful mustache. Ellis, yeah. how many yes. Tom Selleck's do we know? There's only one. True. He's not telling a joke. You look at him and you're like, that's a handsome ass mustache. Does Tom Selleck have a son named Tom Selleck Jr.? Because I could, I was just trying to. It's actually could Mitch go Selleck. Oh, <laughs> Mitch Selleck. Yeah, Tom yeah. named him Tom, and, yeah. and at age seven, he's like, honey, we're changing it to Rick. <laughs> Do you think there's a single person on the planet whose name is Mustache? Probably. Yeah. Mustache. The, there was a kid named, uh, there was a game called uh, Turok Dinosaur Hunter oh, like, based on the yeah. Valiant comic series. Oh. And it was, I think it was for like, it, it, like Sega, I don't know, this might have been the Sega CD era or something right. like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Cast, they had a promotion where. If you name your kid Turok, they'll pay you hundred thousand dollars when no the game way. came out. So there's like ten Turoks <laughs> walking or maybe flying around. Turok was a pterodactyl kind of thing. So I You're making a joke, right? I, there are there are a hundred thousand dollars to just legally have somebody's name be Turok. I think it was a hundred grand, you had to like like I have would the do birth it. certificate and hundred percent. Are you kidding? Yeah. yeah. Obviously like, we know I'm not mom of the year, but Turok is a fine name. You're not I naming him agree. like shithead. No. Turok. You sound like Shafid. like a cool like gargoyle mm -hmm. or something. Like that's Turok. I'm okay with that. I went to high school with a kid named Tarek, but I think he was he I think his family was from like Iran or something, but it's okay. T A R I K. 
Tarek Tar- Cohen, running back for the yes. Chicago Bears. That's so correct. no hundred thousand for him. No, right. I'm just still a letter stuck off. on this. Yeah. You're telling me that only six kids were named Turok? Well, it just it, it's tough to be named Turok because again, Turok is is a dinosaur hunter, and there's not a lot of work. But you could call your kid Rock or Tur. These days. Uh, shout, yes, shout out Turk. really quick to Ken Napsok, who's in the ch- uh, chat watching and stalking us. No <laughs> way. Yeah. It's probably because he saw that I Hi, tweeted Ken. about Josh and No, Mark. yeah, this is a whole thing. Now, do you want to apologize to him? Sure, sure. go ahead. Yeah. But Ken, we're sorry we didn't invite you <laughs> in the thing. carpool. I apologize. Okay? Really we don't curious. have to... Come it's by raining. your house every time Josh and I spend time together. Mm. It's raining. Does he get jealous? It, well, yeah. Because we run in a trio of a band. We're like Rush. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm Neil Pert, uh, Getty Lee Great over drummer. here. Thank and you. the other guys. Uh, Ken. Ken is our Alex Lifeson. <laughs> Alex Lifeson. <laughs> oh, the, the other, other guy. guy. Well, to be honest, I thought Ken was pricing himself out of our friendship because he writes a book oh. and gets a house. Oh. He's Great got house. A, a family. He's got a brood now. Yep. He kicked yep. Josh off the afternoons and took his wife <laughs> took instead. Kicked <laughs> him <laughs> off the afternoons. Did I mean, not, we went on the road in D.C. together. Did not speak to me the entire trip. Unbelievable. Did, would not even look me in the eye. They got separate cars. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy right now, guys. I was having such a crap morning. Oh. What and happened? You guys made it so much better. Roxy, you... Did a new route to work. Yeah, that sucks. So, yeah, okay, but... But that wasn't the, the main issue. Okay. It was a side issue. That You guys keep Guess. telling me, take the outpost, take the outpost. Oh, it's okay. not called the outpost. It's just called outpost. What is this? <laughs> we can call it the outpost, though. I mean, it's, it's not like, it's not like a, a restaurant on top of a mountain. Like, make sure you come to the outpost. We've got free chili once you get to the top. What? Am the, I the, the only one who hears outpost. it that way? Every time you say it, it's the outpost. No, it's take outpost. Oh, we take don't outpost. get a lot of kids coming by the outpost. <laughs> Study boss. Oh, oh got a Cody. wait a minute. Oh, oh it's a... so, you boys, we go to Brawley together, and then you go to Collider Live without me. Yeah, I'm over here in my underpants, <laughs> watching you guys. Oh, friendship over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, guys, I'm sorry that my dad had to call in. <laughs> Why does his voice sound like that right now? I don't know. Because he's mad, Ken. Angry Ken has a much deeper, gravelier voice. He's also like. <laughs> Good. And he sounds like he's from from from, from Brooklyn. Yeah. Hey, you, <laughs> I went 17 train stops to go to a stadium that's nothing but, but a parking lot and storage for a security <laughs> company. I did that for you. Ken, put on some pants and make your make your way over here. <laughs> yeah, you only live seven yeah, seconds yeah, you're away. Yeah, five minutes away. I can't. I I gotta go. Sh- shop for a suit jacket that will fit me properly for the Schmodown event on Saturday. So there it is. I gotta go over to the chess king. Uh. I'm actually <laughs> really excited for that. The, for Saturday's event. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. The Schmodown Spectacular. It was going to be me and Ken announcing two matches. Obviously, that's not going to happen <laughs> after that phone call. Oh, no. jeez. So we're currently hiring. Mm, take right. me. Well, I'm going to go. Oh, he's still here. Burning. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm still here. I'm Ken. Ken. I, I never leave. Ken. I got to go. My flapjacks are burning. This does yeah, kind of jacks. remind one <laughs> of the moment that you and I were reminiscing about way back in 1975. When in Studio 8H, Saturday Night Live, George Harrison was in the building and they did a sketch mm-hmm. with it. Three blocks away at the Dakota, John Lennon and Paul McCartney yep. were watching. They said, we should go down there and hang out. That is the conundrum that Ken Knapsack faces right now. And you're saying you are not going to pull off that magic. Uh, look, $3,000, give all the money you want to Riley. doesn't matter. Make the choice yourself. Uh, <laughs> yes. you know, I'll uh, take that. I really do got to run some errands because if I don't, uh, you know, I get in trouble at the house, right? Mm. Rat Baxter, real tough chihuahuas. So, yeah. uh, I just love you all. This is the best show. Uh, and I uh, love y'all. Right. We right. love, love you. Thanks for calling yeah. in. This weekend. It also is raining outside, so getting anywhere is not cool. In so LA. everybody in LA Hence freaks out because it's water. Unreal. Uh, so yeah. quick question, because it totally makes sense that Ken and Riley are the George and Ringo, but who's Paul and who's John? Of the of who? So of, Ken and Riley are George and Ringo, and then John and I are, or John and Paul are Josh and Mark. I'm happy to go. Okay, look, it's life expectancy. I was going to say, I'm definitely the one that would get shot outside of a hotel. <laughs> well, according to Reddit. <laughs> yeah, according to Reddit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get I, sh- I looked into that, by the way. Whoa. I don't want to I don't want to really go rough. there. Because yeah. really I'm with you, too. I have no idea how Reddit works. Reddit. What, worse than your shit, oh, Maxine? I don't know. Josh and I are always the most hated, but this yeah. gave me a run for my money, for yeah. sure. Oh, man. I think you yeah. more have to look at the, the, the mates that John and Paul had. So, John obviously had Yoko, mm-hmm. and then 
and Paul had Linda. And so is who is Yoko and who is Linda in Amanda or Molly? I guess. <laughs> oh, Molly. I okay. Guess. I guess Molly's Yoko. Definitely. Yeah, I would go honest. Yoko. I did change your, a lot. I'm yeah. is she, you yeah. named your is solo album singer? after her. I think that is. Uh, that's it. I, I think would we take hit it. Molly barking over Yoko Ono singing. <laughs> How about both at the same time? I oh think that's God. art. That's called that's, harmonizing. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Josh. That's or called something. Correct. How, how to get information out of a witness. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to know what happened to me this morning? Or yes. No? Yes. yes, I do. Yes. Was, it, was it really excited? Was it based on, on did Reddit? You not, so did you not listen to Sugar Ray and that's why you're in no, a sad mood? I didn't listen to Eminem on purpose this morning because that was really fucking me up yesterday. Yeah, yeah thank God for that. I got the I crosshairs of Roxy. I, I woke yeah. up this morning and people had, you know when you can just tell something's up because your notifications are blowing up and it's like, oh no. Last night, sometime, friends announced that they are pulling off of Netflix starting January 1. We thought we were going to have until at least the spring when they were going on HBO Max. And I'm in the middle of a binge right now. I'm early on season 9. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish in time. And obviously, it sounds like I'm joking, but you guys know I watch Friends every single day. I, I'm, like, really pissed off about this. Roxy. They had told us we were going to have longer. You know you Roxy. could just get cable, which is cheaper than all of this combined, or and watch it on TBS every single day. Not in the order that I want. Or I have, have a surprise demand. for you. I have the entire Friends collection that I don't watch because I don't really like the show anymore, so you can have it. Ooh, Ooh. Wow. There's I mean, two you, things you to unpack here. You broke my heart, and then you tried to put it back together. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll take it. Yeah. Speaking of which, when Just I was one. home for Thanksgiving, my brother, I, I can't believe... He <coughs> and then we made it this far in life. My brother was like, I've never seen an episode of Friends. What? Unreal. Mm. Everybody's seen Friends. But also he's like my best friend on the planet. What? Uh, cl- clearly he thinks Otherwise. you think he's your best friend and he does not think the same. Which is kind of <laughs> like, to me all like the time. Ken Mark and I. It's just that's whole thing. It, it, <laughs> is shitty. Younger, I met your brother once in New York. Mm-hmm. Younger or older? He's older. Okay, and did you watch Friends when it was airing? Yeah. Okay, so what was... In 94 when I was three. What was he doing? Uh, Probably, like... Dude shit. Off hanging what, out with what, what, what were you say? almost going to That's say? That's a real best friend thing to say. What, no, you, you had something you were going to say before that. <laughs> I forgot I was, was talking bl- about my brother. Yeah. And I was going to say bl- jerking off. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I remembered it was my brother, so I said, dude shit. Can yeah. I tell you? Can I tell you something Not about your brother? Not that there's anything wrong with jerking yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going to tell you something about your brother that I actually know this for a fact. Mm-hmm. Your brother jerks off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably, yeah. probably four to five times a week. All right. You know how I know that? That little, I jerk off way more than that. Wow. I, th- th- there's women that are just like a. It, it's it's like Oompa Loompas at the chocolate yeah. factory. That's that's their day, and they clock in. Yeah. And we, we got to make these. these you gotta you gotta Let's sleep, talk, yeah. eat, yeah. and orgasm and in order to make things work. Wow. Yeah, exactly. I can't believe you guys. No, I mean just I rubbing it in, in all my over in it. my heyday I could Why maybe knock a it? couple out, but n- n- like like in a day. But now like I I get a good one through. Yeah, the, the the barrier it's it's, it's like shooting uh, the spaceships past the Hawk blockade. <laughs> like, it, it, if I just get one past the barrier successfully, I'm like, all right, well now I'll plan next week because <laughs> the first know. transport is away. The first <laughs> transport <laughs> is away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark exactly, Ellis did it. Exactly I know I these are Star Wars jokes because you guys are laughing way harder than I am. Yeah. Like, <laughs> You're like, Baby Yoda, so cute. Yeah. Baby yeah. Yoda's going to oh, come hot. up so many times yeah. this episode. Yeah, well, hey, all you kids out there, that's why when you do your business, do it into a sock so you don't accidentally make a Baby Yoda. <laughs> true. Okay. true. Really? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I was doing Collider Live. No, it's okay. good. I, here's it's good. It's, no, you're nailing it, Mark. Not, why are you? I, do I, not be sorry. I thought this was the trust tree. The tree of trust? Oh. Exactly. The trust tree? I this know. is Collider Safe Space. Yeah. yeah. I literally, this is the problem. I have nothing to add to the conversation anymore because I am, I've become off? like an asexual being. I'm telling you guys, it has been a year since, I, like, anything. But you don't jerk like, off? No, yeah. not anymore. What? I, like, have no interest in my own vagina anymore. <gasps> I, like, don't want to see it, talk about it, touch oh, it, be with it. No, I would, it's Roxy. run away. I know. I have, like, no, no. connection to my own body anymore. No. It's been no, a we weird gotta, year. We got to hang out and talk about this. I know. Oh, I know. No. Wow. So, literally, no, you guys talking about it. All I'm thinking about is, like, oh, yeah, that was a thing that once happened in life. <laughs> so your vagina is kind of like my Sega Genesis once I got Super <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> 
Like, it's done. It was still there. It was still oh. functional. But man, look at this color palette. It gets yeah. a little dusty, so you gotta blow into it every so often. I just say, <laughs> yes. fire. You can, you can play Turok. Sitting behind me. You can play you Turok can play Dinosaur play Hunter Turok. with Roxy. <laughs> kind of. It's like his clothes. I don't think you should. I, this is can not it, a oh, tragic not open, situation to me. This is this is you resting and recuperating, True. and this is you th- this from is, my injury in the NBA. <laughs> Roxy, they call this load management. Yes. <laughs> Your okay. emotional yeah, injury. A lot of puns there. A lot of, a lot of, oh, a lot of load so puns. many puns. You're I mean, training for the next thing. You're hibernating. This yep. is what yeah. bears do, okay? <laughs> and when they come Thank you. out from hibernation, exactly. they're fresh as a daisy. Yeah, you guys are really be... missing a ton of like open wounds here. Like yeah, you got Yeah, I never never mind. Keep going. Keep Talk going. about this I've is like the friends episode with Chandler here, but I'm just gonna yeah. let it go. Wait, 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 wait. What what's happening? Marco's like, and what happens is bears come out of their hole. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, guys, catch something. Then you said you guys are really rubbing it in. Yep. I'm like, Christ almighty, come on. Like, it's somebody like catch puns. one of them. The yeah. puns are flying. You gotta jump in, but you gotta it's jump in like on that. The girl it. in a gangbang. You got a microphone. You look like the ah, Mad ah. TV di- like, do- dinosaur dude. Do- <laughs> yes, yes. When the green screen is back on. Oh, I love that. My oh. God, out of the corner of my eyes. It was like Turok Dinosaur Hunter. It's gotten sad. This is great. Yeah, it's I don't think it's anything Yeah. I think Mark is right. And if you need a break, I think it's healthy. I However, don't need a break. I just I, like literally, I don't think my brain is connected to my vagina anymore. Hmm. If it was, why? I think my <laughs> vagina is my brain. I have a, I have a new <laughs> screenplay idea. That sounds. <laughs> It's called the vagina mile. Kind of like, I yeah. think that is what happens though, over time is that like because this and this are like so connected when you're in like high school and stuff. It's yeah. like you can't go one, you can't have one without the other. Mm-hmm. And then as you get older, it's like this starts thinking a little more independently. And like now I'm at the point now where I see those commercials for like M Drive and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, hey, what's M Drive? It's it, it's this for stuff guys that, with low T. Yeah, it, it, mm-hmm. it's like, hey, do you do you want to get back in the gym? And and I'm like, no. I don't want that at all. I I'm taking no a nap interest. watching this commercial, and this person on the television looks like he's got a lot to do, and I don't want any part of it. If yeah. I may, it's sort of like when yeah. Journey was really at their peak, right? Steve Perry, Jonathan Cain, Neil Shearn, they were really hitting the all, on all cylinders. Don't stop believing, faithfully, you know, lights, all that kind of stuff. Stone and Love, Stone and Love, Best you know, Journey some of song. these amazing, amazing songs. Like Journey's yourself. greatest hits. Be good to yourself. It's Only cool. the young. I mean, there are songs Keep that going. will forever change the world. And then all of a sudden, Steve Perry thought, you know what? I'm better off on my own. Oh, then he comes at- Sherry. And then he does, oh, oh Sherry. Oh, and it was like, this is pretty good. Oh, pretty good. That's about it. It's pretty good. And then all of a sudden, really he took good. a bunch of time off. And then they were like, you know what? Let's fill him with a Filipino man. And the Filipino man is still pretty damn good. And Steve Perry's over there going like, I should have stuck with Journey. Yeah. Wait, where am I in, in this? You're the, I'm Filipino the Filipino man, man right no, now. No, I, I, I think she's Steve Perry. I mean, you're Steve Perry. Yeah. Oh. We, we need you to realize that you can't let a Filipino man come and take your vagina. Oh, oh. Unless you want, unless you want a Filipino man right. to date. Mm. Look, if you want to follow mm. this metaphor like to its logical conclusion, See? I have some really good news for you, Roxy. There are two me. key pieces of information about your member. Okay. No, issue number member. one is that congratulations, your vagina is now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, <laughs> I true. feel that okay. too. And I feel like that. Piece of information number two: congratulations, because if you want to rediscover your vagina, it's drinking Italian rands down the street. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. That's true. It's still close by somewhere. Do you, this doesn't it's happen like to you guys ever, Jedi. though, where you go through periods of time where you're just like, I'm tired, I'm overworked, I. I in a good way. Right. I love work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I just I come home and I'm it's one in the morning. I wake up at five a.m. I'm like, when the fuck am I going to be yeah. touching myself? But or, fi- or, or but that's what you get gotta... finding somebody else. Like what? That's what you got to be no, efficient about it. You got to get a good sex toy. You got to get a good vibrator, and you mm. got to just go and be like, okay, I got five minutes, and then I'm going to bed. Done. And then wow. and it's a good she's stressor. Asleep. She's uh, yeah, she's a bear. You You're right. Hibernating. I mean, it's like Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, right? They found that that hut with Alan Parrish's name scribbled on it. Yeah. You've got and a lot of metaphors today. A, the guy comes in, you know, he's like, oh, Roxy, I think we should date. And you're like, I don't know. Could be crazy down there. And then there's a Jonas brother somewhere in your bed making margaritas. Well, I have Perfect. a question. <laughs> Anybody else? When I think about you, I touch myself. Oh. See, that doesn't even make me think about it. But I do, I am curious. Alex Marzonia in the booth. Uh, oh. Oh. Alex is getting the preposition. This has been waiting. Alex is a hot Filipino dude. Fresh <laughs> off a friend zone. 
He's been friend zoned. He's hot. He's Filipino. He's a singer. He's in a band. He's in a band. <laughs> and also, the only person it's been longer for than me is Alex. Alex, are you going through a similar series of emotions or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> Because you take care of yourself, right, Alex? I take care of myself. Yeah, Yeah, focus on other things. Chips. Mm. (laughs) Maybe you're just too much in your head. Said everyone ever about me in every moment of my life. (laughs) Yes. So so even when you're stoned, you just just rather Uh, go to sleep. Oh, God. (laughs) Sex when you're stoned is always the worst. It's so good, man. What? I think there's yep. two people. Yep. There's two sides yep. of that. I'm with Roxy yep. on that side. Being high and having sex would never work for me. No. It was just not a but thing. But that's because you freak out and start thinking about space. Uh, yeah. Or I'm paranoid that, like, all of a sudden, it, uh, yeah, it's just not, I don't You work. start thinking about death and all that stuff. Nah, and me and stone doesn't work anymore. It really doesn't. Okay. You know well, what you I should... recommend, because you have a little, you have a little bit of an edible, you got a little bit of music. See, it's here's really why good. I don't mm. uh, really condone the, the sex on drugs thing, is because, like, <laughs> like it, 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 it's, it's not tell. like something that I'm good at. Like, like, I'm barely competent at sex. So if you take other activities that I'm barely competent mm-hmm. in, one might think of roller skating or golf. I would not do those on drugs because I would not want to embarrass myself and possibly get into some sort of tragic accident. But, like unicycling. Just a little bit. Unicycling. Just a little bit. You don't have to get super high. No, no just a little just bit. Just to relax. Work. Not going to do it. No. I want to be I want to be sober. I want to be aware sober, of sober? everything I'm doing no wrong. No booze. Uh, no. <laughs> yes, sober, sober, lights on, staring lights at each on. other's eyes. All right. I will say this. There's socks like a couple. On. Back socks on. Socks are on. Well, clearly. Uh, really quick, socks Garth on. McMurray just uh, said Alex and Roxy equals Rolex. Rolex. Oh, my God. Rolex. There's a new name we for you guys. We tell time. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah. You guys know what's really fun to do when you're stoned? What? Watch comedy That's specials. Sick. Mark Ellis, everyone. Yay! Mark, I saw that it's, you've got like so many effing views right now. Yeah, it's doing well. Dog Stepfather, you can watch it on YouTube. The, the, the nice thing about releasing a special on YouTube is that it's so much easier to share it. Like yeah. people can see it, then they can like just put it, put the link out on social media as opposed to something else where it's like, oh well, it, it's on Netflix. Then like you're scrolling and stuff, and so YouTube, you just go watch it uh, again and again. What I really, what really made me happy is that a lot of people said they watched with their family over Thanksgiving, That's awesome. and I yeah, remember this. The Jean Jacket probably gives this away. I will never forget. 2004, I want to say, was the Thanksgiving, maybe 2003, was the Thanksgiving the Comedy Central released the Blue Collar Comedy Tour special. Oh, the yeah. first special, where it was like America meeting Larry the Cable Guy and Ron White for the first time. Bill Lingball, Jeff Fox, Tater the, my family watched that on Comedy Central three times in a row, and they were all <laughs> howling. So you're doing for families what they did for you? Yeah. And not as well, but yes, that's that's the goal. And I then, think uh, as well. And then we got the big Schmodown Spectacular this weekend. Is everybody going to be? I will, I'll be there for you. I'm, I'm, the beginning of it. But then I have to go. Oh, why? Because I have other stuff to do. She's okay. got to. She's got to well, go take care of herself. I'm not. Correct. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be there for like 12 hours. <laughs> yeah. I'm, there, I, I'm getting there nice and early. So uh, I'm doing some kind of a, a signing thing in the morning. Yeah, you will be cool. part of the fan. Expo. Some kind yeah. of a signing thing. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm still trying to figure out what to print. Because I want to do pictures, but then also some Collider Live fans made me really dope stuff. Like uh, there was this Roxy's Diner, Can I Come thing. I was thinking about doing magnets. Oh. But are magnets outdated? Or no, magnets no. Cool. Everybody has a, a fridge. It is refrigeration. Fridge, yeah. yeah. I, I no. As a family of ice cutters, <laughs> yeah. the Ellis, we're here to say that not only is <laughs> magnets still in their prime, Refrigerators are, and if you don't want a refrigerator, call Mark Ellis. I'll come chop some goddamn ice for you, Josh. Nice. What do you? What, what do your Pittsburgh roots have to say about that? <laughs> we didn't have ice in no, Pittsburgh because the, the river water was so polluted. Because oh, I was. Uh, I, I thought uh, you didn't have an Ellis to cut oh, it. Oh, that's for true. You. Yeah, that's true. Like, we know how to make steel. <laughs> we still know how to cut the ice. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That was. I just want that Pittsburgh look, guy I walking around. I want the Steelers. <laughs> I just don't know how to get this ice into my glass. <laughs> if there was only, I could build you a building. It's just the ice cubes are too big to put into a cup. It's no, wait, look, Frank O'Hara's <laughs> caught that ball. <laughs> He's going to keep running. Ah, yes. wow. It's You're... all so good, except the Pittsburgh accent. Josh, it's, give yeah, it to us. No, yes. It's like, oh, my God, Mark, you think you're so good you can cut ice? Like, I've been around ice cubes before, and I know, like, what an ice cube friggin' feels like in my glass. Okay, 
you jag off, you friggin'. You think you're so much better than me? You watch Blue Collar Comedy Tour back in the day. Hey, congratulations. We was watching playoff football in 2003 at Christmas time. <laughs> or bad. I, if I may say, and now I am doing an impression of Mark Riley's fan. <laughs> Boy, do I love some Mark Ellis cut ice cubes. <laughs> In my boxed wine. I didn't know that we came from England. This is beautiful. Keep going. Is that really how they talk? Because I believe it. Tust in England. Tust in England. That's why you have your beautiful radio voice. The wine stuff. What about the wine? Like, he just does wine. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta. That's how rich wine things talk. Rich wine. Jesus Christ. It's like a rich family person. Have you drank my wine? I get it from Ralph's. It's okay. Do you guys know? Riley's mom, have you ever met her? No. You know what her name is? She would deny a doubt fire. <laughs> hey, where? Hello! Hey, this is my facial regimen. It's lemon and meringue. I'm God, so I wish that was right true now. as well. We guys, we're going to lose Mark Ellis right now. Do we I have don't to? want to, yeah. Gotta go. Thank you guys for having it. me. My God. Josh, I know. welcome back. Your Thank dreams you. were your ticket out. I, they were. I, I, had a, I had a chance, Mark, and I came crawling back. <laughs> yeah, you, thank you, you need for, that ticket out. Thank so you for housing me. Sorry I mucked up the show. Uh, uh, see everybody this morning spectacular this Saturday. Looking forward to having you all there on stage. Don't point at drugs. me. I'm not there. I was not invited. Are you sure? Oh, you're not, you're not around. You, around you were. You're you not were gonna know. so invited. You were always so many invited. Times. You probably have yeah. a d- WGN thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll yeah. cut what Ken is that wedding? That announcing <laughs> slate right now. Get you in there, guys. We will be back right after this commercial break. Don't forget that we're gonna. Every time, don't forget. Yeah. I didn't tell you guys this yet. How could you remember it? We're coming back. We got a ton of news. We're gonna take some calls, and then we got a dope game at mm. the end. Yes. It has to do with Baby Yoda. So stick around. Because two for five minutes. It- what? What? My fellow Americans, I am here today to inform you that at approximately 2:32 a.m. Our nation was attacked by a biological weapon designed for massive destruction. Details on this weapon are scarce at the moment. We are doing everything we can to keep it contained. Effective immediately, I'm ordering a stage four lockdown down. Stage four war, war, war on all infected regions. If you find yourself in one of these areas, please stay in your homes. Remain safe, remain attentive, but most importantly, remain calm. Thank you. Good night. And God bless America. What the hell was that, guys? That looked like a sh- trailer for a short film that was written and co-directed by yours truly. Stay tuned for the release of Stage 4. What's up, guys? It's your boy Dorian. 
What's up guys, your boy Dory. What's up guys, what's up guys, what's up guys, your boy Dory. Journalist was decapitated. Uh, all right, so uh, Back to the Future. The, the journalist was decapitated. Uh, all right, so uh, Back to the Future. Got me straight tripping, boo. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Collider Live. We lost Mark Ellis, but we still have Josh McCann. Hey! Riley here, Drina here, Roxy, Cody, Alex. I think this is the first time I've ever worn a hat on this show. I never wear hats, but it's I raining know. outside. It looks good. You have a, a I like hat you in hats. Head. A hat head? I mean that in a good way. It sounded mean, okay. but I meant it as like ha- hats fit your head. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Good talk, Good Russ. job, Rossi. Yeah, you know yeah. what else fits? That jacket, yo. Yay! And that jacket. And that shirt. And that shirt. Heroes and villains, guys. If you like the clothes we've been rocking all week, Heroes and Villains, go to heroesvillains.com. And you get 10% off if you use the code LIVE10. They've got Star Trek, Batman, Joker, uh, Warriors of Mandalore, boom, and boom, more. Boom. Tons and tons of stuff. So if you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I missed all Cyber Monday shopping. What do I do? Well, you still get a discount because you are fans of Collider Live. So we wanted to hook it up. Live 10. Again, that's heroesvillains.com. Don't put the and in there because it doesn't belong. <laughs> this one, real soft again. Yeah. Real this soft. And it's awesome. I, Joke very, I love that uh, design, actually. Yeah, it's really cool. This is a I, very comfortable Klingon sweater. I'm very happy about this. Does it have the fuzz on the inside? Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was trying. That's what I was rocking the other day, but Star Trek. This is the this second is show. Oh, yeah, but I, a different Star Trek one. Oh, I mean. okay. This is the second show in a row I've worn this jacket. And I didn't know the first day that I wore it that it was a Mandalorian jacket. Uh, but now that I do know it's a Mandalorian jacket, I'm actually pretty bummed that I don't get to keep it. Just yes, not Dorylands. geeky enough. Yeah. No, but you, but he you, is. He's in. But you He's love it because that, of Baby Yoda oh purely. My God. That tweet last night. Yeah. I mean, come okay, on. So what I did didn't, you tweet? I tweeted. Uh, I I was I wasn't I didn't know if I was that excited for the Mandalorian, but I also didn't know I had this much room in my heart for a Baby Yoda. Mm. In like in other words, same because I like the show. I think it's I think it's very fun. It, it definitely has that Star Wars lore to it. It has you know weird looking creatures. I like the Jawas in that one scene. I'm all caught up. You know what I mean? Nice. I'm, I'm really in, I'm enjoying the show mostly because it is half hour to forty minutes. Yeah, uh, right. I, that is my sweet spot for television episodes. Mm-hmm. And I think that. Uh, um, you know, Pedro Pascal is doing a great job as the Mandalorian. I think he's he's really he's good. Awesome. I loved the scene at the end of the third episode with the battle with everybody. That's the best. It's awesome. That, yeah, that. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that, I went crazy. That baby that. Yoda. The that baby Yoda. The best. The best. It has, is the best. The the baby baby Yoda has changed my life. Has changed my life. That I I, I honestly, if, if being a Mandalorian, I'm going to show you guys the back of this jacket because it's pretty sweet. Take yeah, it all so sweet. Like, look, it Take says it Warriors off. of Mandalore on it. Really? If yeah. I was walking around Disneyland I'm with this in Galaxy's loyalty. Edge, holy cow, you would Amanda so would cool. be like, Undying women. loyalty is a dope thing to have on your it really bomber, is. too. This is the way. I love that jacket. Hey, this is the way. Speaking of Jawas, I, I asked spoken. this on Twitter. What'd you got? Do you guys think that Jawas are just minions who died? Yes. Because that's what they sound like. No, I don't. I don't either. Sorry, damn it! Yeah. Your I don't. I don't want to put Despicable Me in the Star Wars universe. Why know? not? Yeah. But that's what they but sound like. But they are like. minions, though. In yeah, fact, I'm with you. Your, said, your evil that's games just like, got me. Like, it's banana. my soul. Okay. Banana. That's what they sound like. They do. What did you just do? No, no, no. Banana. But banana. banana. Oh, banana. Oh, banana. Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, I like when they got really excited about that egg, though. <laughs> that, that egg thing was still like, yeah, it looked hysterical. That's what you took from that. Yeah. Well, th- Are listen, you kidding me? That, egg th- was that, that was the whole point of the episode. I am nothing if not a sucker for adorable things, right? Mm-hmm. I love cute dogs. I love 
puppies. I love those little Jawas. They're adorable. I love Baby Yoda. Like, Baby Yoda, if he starts dancing at any one point, and if they start playing a song and he starts going like like the uh, the groundhog in, in – um, in uh, what's it called? In I don't know. Caddyshack. Caddyshack. Oh. Thank you. The groundhog in Caddyshack when he does his little dance. If Yoda starts dancing to something or when he's trying to eat those frogs and the kids are like, gross, and he spits it out because he wants to be like those kids, I just so cute. So can guys. I be honest also, with you guys? Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead right? No, we have to show this. Did you see Baby Yoda with Toto? With Africa. No. no. Okay, okay. I put it in the, I put it in the outline. Cody, Baby yeah, Yoda Mark, in Africa. You, Alex, thank you, brother. Wow. Well, you got to hear this. Are we gonna you got to see it. Okay. You're gonna, it's, gonna, it's awesome. Oh, yes. Pedro, this is great. Pedro Pascal said that he he endorses this. It's so good. <laughs> I hear the drum. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 Look at that Aww. adorable little guy. Aww. It goes bad. <laughs> <laughs> Great songs. It's so bad. Africa okay, I, by Toto. Fantastic song. I know song. that we will be doing the uh, Baby Yoda game at the end, but while we're talking about Baby Yoda, there was some news regarding Baby Yoda that dropped last night and t- took Twitter by storm. Oh, did no. you guys see this? Is, is what Laura was Dern? it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. So, Riley, what did Laura Dern uh, happen to <laughs> say? Well, we have a clip. Uh, it's right above the Toto clip. So we're going to pull uh, that up, Martin. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this is so excellent. You gotta start from the top. Start from the top, guys. Thank you. Start from the top. Have you seen Baby Yoda? Yes, I did. What do you think about Baby Yoda? Just today. What do you think about I saw. I don't know if it's a him or a he or she. I don't know, but I think he was at a basketball game. <laughs> That's what all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah. That I think I saw him at a basketball game. So this is an interview. Wait. She says it was the NBA is what she closes with. This is an interview that was done uh, by Variety on Mm -hmm. the red carpet in which, like you just heard, Laura Dern says that she saw Baby Yoda at a basketball game. And the Internet, it seems like the general consensus of the Internet is that people think that Laura Dern not only doesn't know who Baby Yoda is, but thinks that Baby Yoda might be a rapper. Oh, oh, that's awesome. That's hysterical. <laughs> that's great. I love that. I, Did you see the interviewer's face kind of like Well, because yeah. he or doesn't she know was it, just high. He doesn't know if she's her. kidding or if she doesn't want to admit she doesn't know who Baby Yoda right. is. Yeah. It's one of the two. Either she knows who Baby Yoda is and she was saying like I saw him out at a basketball game or more likely she's just not in the same nerd right. place that we are, which right. most likely and, and yeah. missed it, but didn't want to say like, she didn't know. Is that why there are all those memes out there of like Baby Yoda literally at a basketball yes, game? Yes, yes, yeah. okay, yeah, so they're, they're that, pretty amazing. I so I told Amanda, I was like, I don't think that you'll dig The Mandalorian because it's just like kind of an action show, but I think you will dig Baby Yoda. Mm-hmm. So I made her watch the first episode, and she was like, Yeah, I don't like the show, but that little Yoda is yeah. the cutest thing in the world. And I said, I know, he's amazing. And apparently, there's a female Yoda out there called Yodel. Yeah, Yaddle. 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 Okay. Is it Yaddle? Yaddle? I, I've yeah. always said Yaddle. I don't Yaddle. Know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yaddle works. But what I, she what was I in will a, say, a prequel for like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. What and I will also, say about this whole thing, right, is that had they shown us The Mandalorian, the trailer and Baby Yoda was in it. I think it would have ruined the whole series yeah, because sure. every diehard Star Wars fan that hates everything, like the ones that are just like, "This is the worst. Nothing is good." Yada yada yada. They would have sonic it. They would have sonic it. It's actually Yoda, Yoda, Yoda. They would have totally sonic it. Well, uh, he's gonna put a cartoon. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what Yummy. they sound like. Yes, I, I still <laughs> stuck, but. I'm still stuck on this Laura Dern thing. I need everybody to vote. Do you guys think that she was making a joke, or do you think she thinks that Baby Yoda is a uh, rapper? <laughs> yes. I hope Baby Yoda becomes a rapper. Me too. But is, do you know why he's so cute? Because why? he's a puppet. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's why. And then, do you guys hear that Werner uh, Herzog not, actually? Not CGI at all? Yeah, and, yeah. And Werner Herzog was actually telling, I, I guess, the people that the crew that was working on Baby Yoda whether they were going to make him CG or puppet and he's like make him a puppet you cowards yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. which is yeah that's why he's so fucking but cute look how cute he, his ears actually flop like old school yeah. Yoda and Empire it's yes. great as he should be that, whenever somebody's like oh I can't believe they didn't do CGI I'm like listen guys we fell in love with a hairy little puppet mm-hmm. okay we mm-hmm. really did we did and the Yoda then moved kind of creepily, like robotic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This Yoda creepily moves like a creep. If they made him move more fluidly, I'd be like, that's not my Yoda. Correct. Mm-hmm. Not my Yoda. The, this Yoda. Mark! Sorry, I yelled. 
I'm really excited. I just about love, I just love that when I, I sit there with you, you hit me. It's yeah. Mark instead. Yeah. yeah. He actually, but he actually pulled the punch yeah. on that one. Yeah. Yeah. I just I love that Josh instead is so of, happy about Star Wars I, I, for what? Guys, just dude, did you see me? I put the meme. I put, I put the gif of, of Baby Yoda that, that watching Josh Bakuga loving Star Wars. I can't tell you how I haven't been in this invested in a TV character and the plight of what could happen to them probably since Alex P. Keaton and Family Ties. Because I was like, what's he going to do when the show is over? Do you guys understand that Collider Live just tweeted, who does Laura Dern think (laughs) hashtag Baby Yoda is? And then writes a basketball, a basketball (laughs) player, a rapper. A, 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 a rapper. A rapper. Was yeah, that you, Alex? We're exploring all options. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for trying to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> like a candy? Sorry for making detective. <laughs> like right. a candy yeah. rapper? Oh. Honestly, yeah. candy I'm rapper. so worried about what could happen. But if it's it, Disney. It, Nothing's going to happen. If it no. was HBO, whoa, maybe whoa, Yoda whoa. would be fucking uh-uh. dead. But hold on. Uh-uh. Hold on, uh-uh. Dorina. Uh-uh. If we end this season, because it's only six episodes, right? It's only six episodes? Eight. 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 Okay, if it ends oh. and Baby Yoda is in peril, I will legit... Lose yeah. my mind. <laughs> There's a thing happening with Baby Yoda. Your your the the need to protect <laughs> washes over you, and I'm talking the entire the whole world. Thing. Yes. So we are so invested in this because you. What would you do to save Baby Yoda? Everything. That that's part Everything. of the game. Yeah. yeah, we will be playing okay. that. I'm just staring because you said, Josh. I love all cute things, babies, dogs. From doing this show with me Puppies. for two years. You guys all know I like don't love cute things. That's true. Not this a baby true. girl, puppies not or puppies. whatever. Just mm, 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 just all over the. Mm, 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 what do you like mm, that's cute? Baby Yoda. Uh-huh. Okay. Baby that's Yoda. a thing, man. Thank Di- God. Yeah. Disney, whether so, you hate him or love him, man, they're smart about this baby shit. Baby Yoda is really cute. Like, I, I, I was watching. This is gonna be really mean. Oh really, shit! Really mean. Hold I'm on. about to say. Hold on, let me get Twitter ready. Because this person ready. is a real life person, so I'm sorry, but I was watching Friends last night, and they Ross and Rachel, spoiler for Friends, have just had their baby Emma, and and she is right. nailed it. I'm so proud of you right now. Thank you. <laughs> she is. They're doing the I like big butts episode where mm-hmm. they're singing, trying to make the baby laugh. That baby is ugly. Hideous. Aww. The baby's eyes are bulging Aww. in a way that are creepy. Their pupils are like take up the entire eye. The, it's lopsided. There are ugly babies out there. One of the For hardest sure, things is sure, but not usually on TV. But not my baby, right, guys? No, no, no Cody. Cody, Cody. Your Actually, baby is fucking no, adorable. Not at all. Almost uh, as cute as Baby Yoda. Grant is. Do you know okay, that's my you. biggest fear of having kids? <laughs> is having an Yoda? ugly baby. Oh my god, mm-hmm. this it, baby it's like, do you think about that? What? Having an ugly baby. Oh, it would ruin my life. Yeah, it, it, no, it, it is a genuine concern. Here's the thing. Is like, okay, I, I would really love, if I had a daughter, I'd love her to be, like, hideous when she gets older so that I don't have to beat up guys coming to my house. You okay. don't actually okay. want Fair that. Enough. You don't want to beat up guys that no. try to fuck your daughter. No, I'm with Josh. Uh, yeah. that if your daughter is, wants thanks, to fuck them, it's fine. But also, you <laughs> don't want to have a hideous daughter. Don't wish that upon your daughter. No, I... I want that. Mean thing to no, I, I want Ugly duckling becomes a swan later, sure, though. And that's like, fine. Like know. when she's in her mid thirties, she finally gets good looking. I'm totally fine with that. What are you saying? Oh also, ugly God. is subjective, and ugly people fuck too, and they're perfectly happy. That's fine, but less less creepy dudes and like <laughs> I rock TTs are, are really going to show up. Don't fuck. Okay, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just go with me on this one. Okay, <laughs> but lying to my friends when their baby is hideous is really really tough. I'm lucky that a lot of my friends have very cute babies, but there are people out there. That I'm like, wow, your baby. It is the episode of Seinfeld. The mm-hmm. baby there. Are hideous kids out there and it's really hard to tell your friends that their baby's not cute because I'm sure they're like lovely little kids but there's sometimes those kids yeah mm-hmm. yeah no and that's mm-hmm. and that's so awkward because I you know when somebody shows you a photo and you're like oh that's a beautiful baby but if it's not you're like oh yeah I, I don't know <laughs> Other than there a Seinfeld sorry, yes. other yeah, than yeah. Cody's Baby's baby, breath. I think all babies are fucking weirdo. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm terrified of babies Good in general. They just look like little smushed people. They're yeah. just blobs because they're, they're becoming Smush. humans, and I don't know if they're now, breathing. If most babies look just, like Yoda. They're staring at me. If the babies look like Baby Yoda, okay, let me go with this for a second. Everybody would be scared to death if their kid looked like Baby Yoda, but we can't take away the fact that it would be a pretty damn cute little kid. And great taste in music. Can I, I ask mean, you guys amazing. a really inappropriate <laughs> question? Always. Do you think if like more people were having babies that looked like Yoda and then they grew up, would you like fuck it? <laughs> <laughs> Cody, let's where's talk the about James Bond, guys. Uh, the trailer came out, No Time to Die. Yeah. Hey, sure I guess did we could talk out. about it. Riley. Oh. I don't know. I'm still. What, what you're asking is would you fuck adult Yoda? Yeah, I guess so. 
So would you? I mean, like. Can we play that Toto dun, clip? Dun, dun, so dun, glad, dun, I'm so glad I came back from the road in a television show. Didn't you miss us? Dun 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 we are. All, we know you were filming season two of Mandalorian. <laughs> That's and true. You already That's said true. it. So you've buddy, already thought about you, fucking baby. My Yoda buddy Asif Ali was one Yoda. of the stick people in the Fisherman Village. My buddy Asif, he was one of the stick people. That's the awesome. stick people. Yeah, he like he stuck the bad guys. <laughs> oh wait, what? Really? The stick guys. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He was the one with the hat. Not the, oh. not the other stick guy. Guys, stick That's guy. Cool. Yeah. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? They come for baby Yoda. Stick guy. <laughs> nope. Oh. <laughs> you bombed. I like. Oh, I made another song. Oh God. Alex. I made a song yesterday. <laughs> oh, sing it. Sing it for us. Well, it doesn't Alex, work as, Alex, we've been over this. It doesn't but, work as well when Roke is not in the room, but just pretend Josh's name is I was pitching Rose. you a sexy Filipino Ro- man for Roxy's Ro- future no. sexual endeavors, it and went, now you're letting her sing. Rina, Riley, Roke, Roxy. Rina, Riley, Roke, Roxy. Rina, Riley, Roke, Roxy. It's kind of catchy. Rena, Riley, Roke, and Roxy, and Cody, and Alex when he shows up. See, he doesn't like it. See, Josh doesn't you like it. You had me at the beginning part, and then it didn't go anywhere. And then you just went and jammed in a bunch of like shitty open mic comic person uh, like <laughs> words. You were just like, and Cody, Alex, and all the other bag of chips. Well, I told them yesterday, I don't know if you're clear on this, but uh, let miss. me make it clear. Uh, okay. My entire sense of humor is family guy. If I say it enough times, eventually you'll laugh. Mm. It's true. Yeah, but it has to be funny. No, because you know what's not funny? Cool whip. Cool whip. Wait, you why did you say, say it that? Enough it's time. pretty funny. Cool whip. Cool whip. Yeah. They did one of those cool jokes whip. last night on the Empire Strikes Back Family Guy version. Did you, have you uh, all seen that? Yeah, Ready? Good. It'd be like, okay, like, tell me if this works. Jaws. No. <laughs> Yeah, well, see, because you're not saying anything. What are you here's doing? It's now you're, now what you're are you even? What Cody, is your what, brain what trying to do right now? I was now, wondering Roxy. where we were going to talk what about this. So is going on? Thank God we. Speaking of Jazz. Yeah, what is this, Roxy? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Roxy <laughs> did a board game thing. Yeah, and, okay. So I, I worked uh, for this company, Draft House Select, and they're, they do board game reviews. You can check out their YouTube. They're awesome. That's why I was in Portland for the second week of the show, uh, Collider Live, Vagina Live 2.0. And when we were reviewing all these games, they found me from Collider Live. The reason I got the gig is they watch the show. Nice. And they love Riley. And they were like, we why have... Why did Riley get the job? The, well, they, <laughs> <laughs> apparently not as much yeah, as they love the you. Hell, man? Maybe they reached out to you and yeah, you didn't respond. Yeah. Yeah. But they were like, we have a Jaws game. Can we send it to you to give to Riley? We know he loves Jaws. And oh. I was like, yeah, of course. So Hugh from Draft House sent this Jaws game for Riley. Hugh, it looks fucking thank awesome. Thank you. You have no thank idea how excited I am you. for this. Thank you for this. This is like a game of strategy and suspense. I don't know what more you could ask for. <laughs> I I'm, mean, I'm, I'm, you're on Amity Island. You have to avoid the shark. And then act two? Of a game? Yeah. You're I, on the Orca. I will tell you this. This is incredible. I mean, it does go. look pretty good. It kind of scares me. If you go look at their YouTube, you will see a lot of their ga- the games oh, they review cool. are extensive. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, I want to check out the review on There's a lot of layers to okay. them. So. What, what's the YouTube channel? Uh, Draft House. Just yeah, I think it's Draft House Games okay, is the cool. YouTube channel. Unbelievable. Thank you, Hugh, uh, yeah. for this. This, is, this is really, really fun. And also, I, I will just say this, uh, unsolicited. It was so cool how great they were. Like, yeah. I, I was nervous because I didn't know them. You guys know when you're traveling to do a new job with new people you don't know. And they were just, like, down. Actually watched the show. Were legitimately so kind. Loved Riley. Wanted to give this to him. Sent me all this Chris, these Christmas decorations for my apartment when I got home. Because That's you guys great. know yeah. I'm, like, the Grinch. And they were, like, liven your place up. Yeah. So, so sweet. Are you, so. like, the Grinch, too? Oh my God! <gasps> Do you hate Christmas okay. too? Well, dude, I'm, first of all, I'm a Jew, okay. right? No, because I hate right. Christmas. Okay. Yeah. All right, mm-hmm. I don't Listen, get it. Now but now I have like these me. little Christmas birds in my house or whatever. They're uh, they're actually cute, but I don't get Christmas. So much I don't. I heard somebody game. the other day describe Hanukkah. They were saying Hanukkah. This, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about Hanukkah and they were like, "Yeah, um, and it's amazing. Like, there's all these holidays: Christmas, Hanukkah, which is." Eight days of Christmas. Oh no! I, uh, just to be clear, no, is it that's eight or not, seven? Not the no, same no, it's thing. No, it's not about the amount. It's eight. It's, it's the fact that or nine. It's the fact that 
it's, it's Hanukkah not, is not Christmas at all. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> we don't just do Christmas eight times. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's literally what I thought as a kid when I first heard of Jewish people. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but honestly, I say this out loud because when my mom went to college, the first thing she got a roommate and the first thing her roommate did was come over. Come here, Josh. The Sorry. first thing she did, my mom was wearing a hat. She took that and then... And my mom was like, what are you doing? And she was like checking for horns because people legitimately do not oh. know Jews and and they read things and hear things. And and these are real life people that are out in the world. They Wait. don't know what a Jew is. Wait. So I just to be clear, Annika is not actually eight days of Christmas. We didn't just like jack Christmas and say, now we'll do it eight times, bitch. Because like, what's the, the eight, horn thing? The devil. Yeah, I know. But Can we, people grew up thinking that Jews like horns. Jews had horns. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. That's when my so, mom would go to no, school, people would throw coins horns. at her in the street because you throw coins at Jews. Like crazy shit like that. And my mom grew up in fucking New Jersey. It's like not. That's, that's yeah. unreal. Yeah. It, and not that long ago. So uh, it's not that. Anyway, yeah. let me segue to two things. You know in the game, <laughs> well, one person you. is, is Jaws. Educational. In wait, this game, wait, wait. one person is Jaws. Hold and on then the minute. other three people playing are Hooper, Quint, and Shut the up. Other guy, I have a question for you guys. While we do the news, should we attempt to play this game? No, it's way too difficult. Okay. Well, we're going to take... It's going to take an hour to set it up. That's the problem with... Oh, a, but a different time. Future show. Future show. Yes, absolutely. Cool. All right. Cool. How about and this, down. though? This game is by Prospero Hall of, of Ravensburger North American Incorporated. Listen to their address. Okay. Distribution Center, One Puzzle Lane. Oh, I That's get it. pretty cool. Do you know that... New, New Hampshire, 03858. I want to go to Puzzle Lane. My dad, um, when he was hardcore in the rock and roll industry, he lived on a street by himself, and they named the street. Like, you can name your own street and submit it through the town, and it was rock and roll lane. That's oh. awesome. Yeah. That's, Very nice. That's pretty so awesome. So po probably the puzzle people did the same thing. Anyway, not relevant to the fact that we have a ton of news. Yeah. yeah. Of so, Mark, give it to us. Well, let's go What's with uh, going on? Bond 25. Yeah. We finally got the very first trailer for uh, No Time to Die, and it's James Bond. It is Daniel Craig. This is his last movie, so he says. So, Thank you, you've Cody. never seen James Bond movie, aside I, from GoldenEye. Yeah, I saw GoldenEye last year. So, uh, but that is my... <laughs> this trailer, like though, it? is... One of the best Bond trailers I've ever seen. Really? Yes. Jesus Christ. Well, so it does. I and agree. I know, and I know. See, Darina, it's this is why. It's an awesome trailer. This is why. Well, okay, let me ask you. Because look, I have at you and look at you. Yeah. I have questions for you guys. I don't want to ever yuck anybody's yum. No, and I'm not I don't yuck know yuck what you. I'm talking about because I have not seen the James Bond movies. Mm. But it, to me, it looked the same as all James Bond movies, which is like yes. man with gun um, who. Good gets synopsis. the other people and also woman somewhere in there hot and then um you you just took my whole car. rundown <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like in car 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 it's and, literally and that could be really cool because so like, not... I love John Wick yeah. so this could right. be dope but what w made this different than I, other to, trailers to me I just feel like the last few Bond movies and you know people didn't really like Spectre, Spectre uh, Skyfall's is great but I still feel like it was kind of more of a somber toned down James Bond and and it was really good but I kind of miss the the stuff that we saw in this trailer in, J in James Bond movies which yeah. is it's not just like the typical Bond hallmarks like you know exotic locations beautiful glamorous people uh, like fast cars right mm -hmm. like that's that's all cool but Maybe it's because they brought in all these writers like Phoebe Waller Bridge that they added, re like, Love I, her. yeah, and they added like cool humor to it. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's what was missing. And so that scene where Bond is actually talking to the security guard, and he's like, he's like, who are you? And he's like, Bond. Mm hmm. And, it, and that was, like, so awkward because the security guard didn't know who he was, right? right. And so I love little things like that. Did you Same just with... explain a joke to me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, you didn't like the trailer, I, so... Okay, so the, your, your you favorite part of the... I, no, I, I didn't listen, say it was my favorite. It's just another retread of the same thing. They're just adding villains and adding hot women. Can I tell you what's happening right now? That's, good writer. that's James Bond. Our Reddit, page, yeah. our Reddit page, Josh, right now is getting longer. Oh, it's yeah. just but a then, yeah. Josh Rock. So what's Bad Boys, then? It's fun. What are you talking about? Bad Boys is an action duo comedy. Right. Mm -hmm. So with what's Martin Lawrence and so Will what's Smith. Bond? Exactly. It's That's Bond my point. Is it's about a, fun a guy that, that has never so. smiled with a bunch of different villains. One now, I guess, is the Phantom of the Opera. And ooh, <laughs> it's and, actually Vicky Vale. And, and because it's the same. All of a sudden, they put machine Jack guns in an Aston Martin. Cool. They did that in 1967. Uh, Octopussy, I'm sure, and in a, a View to a Kill and Upper Majesty's Secret Service. They did it in all those. This one, in, in, instead, now he's racing a motorcycle up. 
the stairs and he's jumping it into a town square where people are going into church. And now uh, uh, Christoph Waltz, he does his whole, I'm a villain in every movie. Look at me. I talk like this. I, you know what and I'm obsessed And then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, wait, is this girl bad or is this girl good? Is this girl now 007? Is she going to be bad or good? Has she traded? Ooh, you don't go on 007 because she's now 006 or 008 or whatever the hell she is. If she's 007, great, because they needed to fill a 007. But we, she could like totally trade places. Oh, I don't know. Now uh, Christoph Waltz is trapped in a cage and the cage is now a uh, part of this guy who Captain America or who uh, Phantom of the Opera is now Rami Malek and Rami Malek's face got burned so he had to put a Captain weird America. white mask on <laughs> instead of just really embracing the scars because no body shaming where we don't do that anymore. <laughs> so... Yeah. You don't, you got to put a mask on. Instead, now you just embrace your scars. Embrace your scars. Everybody's beautiful. I totally get it. But in order to be a villain, you don't have to have a white mask. And everybody's like, oh, James Bond, he was out on an island, but the totally girl that betrayed him. They gave us away the whole movie. It's the same retread over and over. Give me an Adele song. She wins a Grammy. It's done. Yeah. Also, they want Rami Malek's face to be seen, so like well, the so scars funny. aren't that bad. Here's what I love about what you said, though, uh, and it was in the first five seconds of it, so rewind for a second, but he... <laughs> It's so amazing how wild the internet went over the fact that Captain Marvel did not smile. And every person, smile more, smile yeah. more. Oh, yeah. Why isn't she smiling? James Bond has never I smiled in the history of the movies. you're probably the first person to ever say that as a negative about James Bond. And it should go both ways. Absolutely. If you guys don't like that Captain Marvel's not smiling all the time, then it should be a negative that well, James, James Bond, Bond can't smile not... because he's a spy. I completely yeah. agree, Roxy. But also, Josh, I'm very surprised because you love action movies. And yeah. so so you just describe most action... movies you like. I've seen this action movie a billion times. It's just like I saw Gemini Man. Give me something different. Different. Give me something with like a little bit of heart. Just a little bit of heart. But, James Bond has zero heart. He is literally just a spy. Okay, I here disagree. we go. Uh, especially I like with Timothy these new Dalton. incarnations of James Bond and Daniel Craig, that's what they did differently mm -hmm. from the James Bond movies of the past is that he actually fell in love. He actually felt something Daniel for Craig a woman. That's the whole in point love of this trailer. Yeah, Daniel with Craig the... falling in love is the absolute biggest. He has absolutely zero emotion on his face all the time. Oh. Zero emotion. Both Did you not see Knives Out? What? He's fucking amazing. No, I didn't movie. see yeah, Knives Out. I, I didn't see Knives Out. I'm sorry. I didn't see Knives Out. He's I apologize. Really what out. I will say is this trailer looks exactly the same as every Mission Impossible trailer. You just sub Tom Cruise, who actually has emotion in his face. See, but here's the, here's the thing. No, because Tom I Cruise love, would do it his own stunts and then die. I do love Mission Impossible, and I love John Wick, and I love action movies also. I'm sure I would actually really like this movie. I'm sure I, I enjoy it. I, I'm sure I will. I, I will probably go see this one actually, and hopefully with you guys, and we'll e get stoned. This is an airplane movie. Done. Yeah, but, but yes. at the same time, I just didn't. I don't know how this looked different than the other ones. I was genuinely asking because I've never seen them, so I don't know. It doesn't. Well, that could also be the fact <laughs> I, that look, I don't. I want, can't argue with that. It doesn't. I, I, did, I agree it, with you guys, but, but I don't want to know. I want to see the movie. I like yeah. trailers that don't show me what the story is. Are you I'd kidding me? Fucking... This trailer showed you the whole movie. No, you think that's the story, but it's not. It's probably not that simple. It's probably good. It's directed by the guy that did True Detective. Like I it's gonna be yes. good. every single Carrie beat Fukunaga. in the movie. Carrie Fukunaga is great. They needed to bring in a bunch of different minds Dude. to write the same movie. They Listen, brilliant die. people have written the same movies. Probably. No. And then maybe maybe we're replaced by Lashana Lynch. I don't know. Yeah, that would be cool, she's but technically the internet 007, will so. be really upset. Well, the internet's always I'm sure upset. the Reddit page has gone upset already. There's a, yeah, there's, a, there's mean, a new Reddit subreddit on the I hate Josh McCuga sure, Reddit. Sure, go ahead. That's if actually if saying if I'm dying on the cross, you lost your man card. If, if I'm dying on the cross, that is G the retread of James Bond 25 times, then I will die on that cross every single time. <laughs> Why is it got to be a cross? Or a sword. Sorry, I'll die on the sword of James Bond being the same movie over and over again. There's a reason they had to pay Daniel Craig all that money to come back to do James Bond because he, he doesn't want to do it. Darina. It's the same movie. He doesn't want to do Talk it. Talk to me about the comments in the chat right now. I want to know him. I asked for it. Uh, James Bond is not an airplane movie. Yeah, it is. Uh, now they're talking about other shit. B Bond is supposed to be cold and calculating. Mm. Stop cool. yelling, well, Makuga. Mm. Yeah, I like when Makuga good. rants. I do, too. We don't have yeah, him very I'm often. Too. Is this your last show with us this week? No, tomorrow. Okay. But you're not here? True. So. What's today? Wednesday. Where uh, it's... Where am I? Am I? I wanted to that's come on Friday I'm, for That's Aaron because Taylor I'm Johnson, here on Friday for Aaron Taylor Johnson, which I'm so excited about, and Sam Taylor Johnson as well, yeah. which is dope. Is that his brother? No, that's, that's his, his wife, wife. Uh, huh. but she directed one of the Fifty Shades movies oh, cool. and the movie that he's promoting, yes. so we're excited about that. Music by Atticus Ross. Yeah. Uh, very exciting. Uh, is that Nine Inch Nails? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, have we told everybody who's coming on on Monday? Did I don't we think tell so. Them? 
We haven't uh, told them. Should we wait? Should we wait to tell them? So the, the thing with it's actually Baby Yoda. The, the, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm weird. Yeah. I'll just put my producer weirdness uh, out there. Yeah. When when we have these guests that are, I'm so excited about, and then they cancel because of life. <laughs> You know what? I get all. I like. Are we gonna jinx it? If we say it though, don't you think that people it, they're less likely to cancel? What? True. Everyone's and, John Roca. And we did confirm <laughs> with Rep, so let's do it. Okay, here's the deal. This might be the person I'm most excited to have on that we've ever had on. Possibly. That's, I, really? that's insulting to Aaron Taylor Johnson mm-hmm. and uh, Jean Claude Van Damme because he watches the show every day. No, I'm really excited Obviously. to have Aaron Taylor Johnson as With well. With milk and cookies. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm excited for all of our guests, but I've been a fan of this person for so long. Doreen, I know you as Dorian? well. Yes. Oh, it's Dorian. Uh, it's Dorian. And it is Dorian. People actually really liked Dorian on the show. He got a ton of positive comments. He he Dorian. Dorian. Dorian's the best. Dorian needs to just stop with that nonsense when he's like, oh, I don't know what to say. His name. Is Justin Long? Boom! Yay! Did you know that? No, I didn't. I'm not going to be here, but I'm so happy for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. What? <laughs> that didn't sound like somebody was Sorry. happy for us. This, like, there's a reason I don't wear hats on the show. Yeah, you look like an operator. Somebody, right now. somebody said, "Don't forget, Josh thinks Taylor Swift is better than Prince." Yes, yeah, it's true. She won. She just won Artist of the Decade. She has, we has, she has five times the amount of hits that Prince ever yeah, had. Yeah, and that, and that and hits and money totally. Totally, it does. Speak for talent. Sell out. Yeah, yep. sure. Absolutely. Uh, anyway. uh, but Justin out. Long is going to come. And you I'm know very what's a great movie it. with Justin Long? Justin Long, accepted. It, I oh. loved accepted. Accepted. Good I haven't watched poll. it in a while. It was so epic though. Good. So funny. What's, it still holds up. I saw yeah. it like a month and a half ago. It's amazing. Roxy, what's your favorite thing Justin Long has done? And why are you such a big? I fan? don't know. It might have been accepted back in the day <clears throat> because waiting. When I, also amazing, but that made me not want to eat food for a really long time. It's I mean, that gross. pubic hair in the food thing is yeah, like yeah, really right. flipping me out. It's pretty gross, but it's funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I've hung out with Justin Long a couple times. Like, drank. I got mine. Whatever. What, That's good. What is your? Oh, really? Galaxy Quest. Yeah, yeah he's good. He, just, he almost steals the movie with with all of his little side adventures yeah. in that movie. I love That's it. A great Ooh, that's movie, a big man. old lad. What do you got? Let me see his list. Yeah, because yeah. I got so many. He does I a lot don't like his TV stuff. Like, I know. He does a lot of voice stuff. Cody and Alex, did you guys know Justin Long was coming on? Yeah, I uh, wasn't told. I saw it in the rundown. Cool, cool. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Also, I, I read those now. Word. Real yeah, quick, as Dorina's looking at her IMDb, uh, Cody Hall today, 2 p.m. live, uh, rumor mill, I'm going to be a guest, and I'm going to totally heckle <laughs> Cody on my oh. old show. That's amazing. Who else is on it? I don't know. Cody? Uh, we got Jeff and uh, Christian Rubicaba. Yes. Ooh, now Christian can call you out for never having you on. Yes. Oh, you know where I loved him? <laughs> but this isn't my favorite, but I loved him as a George Harrison in Walk Hard. Oh, oh yeah! Remember that scene? Yeah. Yeah. That was so good. That was good. great. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> all good ones. All good ones. Right. Justin Long, huh? Well, yeah, I'm so excited. But we have more news. Man, we have more news. Crushing it with guests. Yeah. Crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. I mean, I still think about Jane Seymour all the time. I think about her every okay, day. Okay, so I started following her on best. Instagram after her appearance. You're on the show. so Same. in love with her. Same. Yeah. Wow. Yo, that bikini goes, pic she posted. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She posted Stunning. this bikini pic like. I don't know, a week and a half ago, she's almost 70 years old, and I will never look that good. She is She stunning. is so beautiful. Mm-hmm. She, so I don't know if I said this on the show, but after I posted the picture of us with Jane Seymour, because it was like one, I think it was my second to last show when yeah. she was on, yeah. um, my mother-in-law commented, I know, Jane. I knew oh. that they would know each other because they're both like hippie artists. They always have like a cause. They always like they're doing art stuff. They, you know what I mean? They, but that's like how they are. They're very kind. They're very loving. They're always very, you know, like out there and very honest and wear like leather jackets. It's like a, it's my mother in law. Dude, it's my mother so re- was reminded again of what I do in my career by that Jane Seymour picture. She's yeah. like, why were you with Jane Seymour? I'm like, we interviewed her on the show. She's like, what show? Like, <laughs> yeah. Mom, the show yeah. I'm producing them on every day. So she's like, oh, I'll check it out. I'm like, Thanks, mom. Thanks. Yeah, you Your it. mom's like, you're on a show. That's yeah. the... But please do her with her British accent. Next yeah, time. I know. That was a little. That was funny. I didn't know we were British. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know Jane Seymour Jane was on. Jane Seymour was oh, on the show. How delightful! Hello, Hello. 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 Gardner. You, know you know what, Jane Seymour? <laughs> You. you know what I would like to hear because she would never say a bad word, but I'd love to hear, get Jane Seymour's reaction of a Bond 25 trailer. Just be like, well, I don't know, I did the first one. <laughs> it frights. 
That's <laughs> she wow. probably yeah. would like it. That's I was gonna say we should text her now. Text James. Yeah, because I have her number. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we can do that. We we know deep fake shit did here, you guys so let's see, do it. Speaking of past guests on the show, did you guys see that unsolicited Chris Jericho tweeted at me that I'm Batman? I I, I did. did see that. It was unreal. I have a pinned tweet from 2016 that says I'm not saying I'm Batman. I'm just saying I've never been seen in the same room as him. And Chris Jericho <laughs> this week just. Quote tweeted it and said, I'm saying it, you're Batman. Wait, wait, okay. Oh, now we have to go back. This was a pin tweet. When did you tweet this? 2016. 2016. You know what Chris Jericho's best role was? McGruber. Because well, yeah, that's yeah, a was. great comedy. Thank you. But Chris Thank Jericho. You guys get over Same that? Page. I love but Chris Jericho. Went, went to your Out Twitter nowhere, page. Went to, my went Twitter to your page Twitter profile. And tweeted that. That's fucking amazing. I saw it and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Like I went to my my Twitter responses, what and it just like Chris Jericho, and I was like, "What the hell did Chris Jericho just tweet at me?" <laughs> and you're like, you he kidding? said I'm Batman. That's a pretty that's a pretty cool tweet. That's, he was so cool. Yeah, huge. Yeah. It was huge. huge. All right, Mark, I've been trying to do it for a while now, but I'm More but news? I'm, I'm putting my foot down. What do we got for news? All right, well, the cast of Rise of Skywalker is starting to see the movie, and Richard, oh, good for you, Richard E. Good Grant. How do you guys feel? I'm going to read this, but I, I want to preface this. How do you guys feel about cast members giving their reaction to a movie they're in? Do you buy what? it? Do you do you well, do you take it a little bit of grain of salt? I think they just as easily could be silent. So very true, I, and they are often silent. There was no need for Richard E. Grant, who should have won an Oscar last year, to tweet this. That thank you. Thank you. Okay. Unless, unless I mean, he they, he talked to people and they asked him to do it. What right? should he like, have won that an also Oscar happens. for? Uh, uh, can you, uh, can can you, you forgive, forgive me? me. Uh, it was the one with Melissa McCarthy. The McCarthy's performance was like yeah. so yes. phenomenal. I tried to watch that multiple times. I couldn't, couldn't I get through it. I don't see it being I don't up your see, alley. You know, um, but it, he was fantastic. You think he's a I don't see it being up your alley. It's yeah. kind of like sad. Yeah. You I tried to watch it on an airplane like three yeah. separate times. Just couldn't yeah. get it. But yeah, I mean, nobody's like nobody in a movie is gonna be like, oh, that sucked. Right. But here's where I'll go with with at least Richard E. Grant, who has been tweeting. Pretty much a lot. Well, not not nonstop, Who's but a he lot over. He we don't know. He's oh. probably a first order officer, or he is. Sorry, We've probably baby Yoda. Uh, yeah. So he he's been very <laughs> excited to be a part of Star Wars, and this is what he tweeted out uh, yesterday. Just seeing the first cast screening of Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker, what it achieves, weaves, and resolves is a total emotional meltdown and resurrection of the spirit. Bravo to J.J. Abrams and his astonishing cast and creative crew. That to me hit a little bit more specific. Like he was like, "What like, part? Can we watch his video?" What it resolves, for one, a total emotional meltdown. That's cool, but resurrection of the spirit. Like what? Resurrection of the spirit. Like what is that? Like the mean? spirit of Star Wars, or the spirit? Like, right. That's, spirit what, that's of what I With all the divisiveness or... of the movies, and especially Last Jedi, and when he says resurrection and Leia of the stuff. spirit, Leia stuff, all of it, every everything with Star Wars, people complain, they love, they do. I, it everybody talks about. It. For him to say resurrection of spirit really stuck with me, and gets me a little bit like, wait a minute, maybe, he's wait, really doing something interesting. Maybe we're just gonna get everybody as a force ghost at the end. D, I just saw I, the tweet. Yeah. I didn't watch the video. What what was in the video? Here. Well, it, can we play it? Can we send it to Alex or Cody? Yeah, it's in the rundown. Um, We're going to pull that up, Mark. Thank, Thank you, Cody. Cody. Pull it up right now for you. Uh, somebody in the Thanks, buddy. Doug Unfunny in the chat says that seems like BS. He is an actor. James Cameron said Terminator, ter Terminator Genesis was the best Terminator movie. Is that's that true? true? No, that's <laughs> yeah, like true? valid point. That's exactly a point. the point I would make. All right, play it. I've just seen Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Did he run there? <laughs> Nothing prepares you for this. I cheered, I shouted, I fist pumped the air, I cried. My full jersey short. Mm. I stood and cheered. It's absolutely everything that you hoped it was going to be. I'm, s I'm so proud to be in it, and I can't wait for you to see it. Can't wait for a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> like that is. Right. Star Wars, the rise of Skywalker. And nothing prepares oh, you. He, oh, it's he just again. Yeah, yeah. it. uh, <laughs> I love when we start okay. watching it again, yeah. not knowing He's it. He's so intense. He's, He's so, very intense. But he didn't have to do that. There's no way. Even if they told him that you should tweet or whatever, he could have said, like, just saw Rise of Skywalker. Wow, go see it in theaters. Right. 
Right. I mean, wasn't there like a uh, uh, like a viral video going around of like a guy getting like emotional about something into a camera like yes, that? Everybody yes. made it, fun of it. Yeah, he reacted to the first Rise of Skywalker trailer that was released oh, right. Right. Yeah, in yeah. celebration, <laughs> and the yes. internet went after him. Yes, and then that guy. everybody came to his defense. He did another one. That but guy's that, amazing. That guy's the best. And if you have to pick on him for loving Star Wars, you got to fucking screw him. Somebody yeah. should cut that guy watching Richard E. Grant. Yes. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Yes. But he. D- I mean. Look, he's also an older actor. Maybe he's just really fucking happy about being in a Star Wars movie. Like, good for him. You know, he's excited. Maybe he's just really happy it doesn't suck, you know? It's true. But uh, also, or he just jerks off on like Roxy. So, that? Fucking it shot in, across the bow. Rub it in. Is that so what you said? So brutal. else? Um, I about you, I touch my Do you guys always think about Austin Powers? With that song? Yes. Yeah. yeah no. Not when I touch myself, no. <laughs> no, I think it's sixth grade. <laughs> Cody, Cody got a kick that one. Yeah. That was a good joke, Serena. Thank that you, Cody. Good, 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 Not good, worth good, the air good, horns, good, but good, still. Good. Good. I my mic was off. Yeah. You know what I would have loved to have seen over a Bond 25 trailer? Austin Powers 4, like, Rise of Bond Walker or whatever we call or calling it. Like, just put them all together and make it fourth Austin Powers And then you wouldn't movie. shit on it. Rise yeah, of course not. Of it's Bond Austin Powers. Walker. I, I could go for another Austin Powers. It sounds like somebody who's elderly who is using a walk. Walker with bond on it, <laughs> like gold bond, the rise of bond. Yeah. Gold bond. <laughs> it's a mo- the morning routine of my grandparents. Rise yeah. of license bond to heal your back, <laughs> license to heal. <laughs> license ah, to heal. We Good got one. weird. Mark, give us some more news. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go into yeah, Mark, Jesus Christ, everybody. Dick. No, you can't go there with this news piece because I want to get a little serious because oh, it, it, it's oh. about a guest of the show. Mm. Did you see this? Fucking horseshit that's out there for yeah, I did Mina see this. This Masood. Is yeah, what happened? Oh, uh, I Aladdin did himself has not had a single audition since Aladdin dropped in theaters, and moreover, made a billion dollars worldwide. Yeah, he what? hasn't had a single audition. So how Mina Masood came on the show prior great. to Aladdin coming out? Remember, we interviewed him. He was great. The he was lovely. Guy. He was kind. He He's was cool. great in it too. He, he was wonderful. But then I saw the movie, which is. On my top ten list of the year, really? I'm with Aladdin. Holy shit! And I, I really felt it, so yeah. in love with him that it hurts every day. Mm-hmm. Here's here's <laughs> that a, you're yeah. not with him. Yes. <laughs> Mo- moving forward, is he married? I I don't believe so. Should we look into I, this? Here's, I know that Naomi Scott is. I don't believe that Mina Masood is married. Also, I love him. Um, did I tell you guys how much I love him? Okay. Oh, my God. He, so uh, anyway, though, not not what I was trying to say, though. What I was trying to say was he said that he has not had an audition since, and he's tired of being quiet about yeah, it. Yeah, here's the quote. I'm kind of tired of staying quiet about it. I want people to know that it's not always dandelions and roses when you're doing something like Aladdin. He must have made millions. He must be getting all these offers. It's none of those things. I haven't had a single audition since Aladdin came out. Who is he represented by? What company? Yeah, their agent, his agents ought to be just a shit yeah. to themselves. Fired. Yes. Like, what is the agency? <laughs> so weird. This I is, don't know. This is I why know. I feel like as an actor, though, it is so important to make your own content so that you have some kind of ownership of yourself. Like, it, it, you don't want to be in a position where you're just at the mercy of other casting directors, agents. I, I Just the way that 2019 and the future are going, we're seeing that the people who are in things consistently are making things. Do you, yeah. do you think that it's just like the agents are not hustling as much? Do you think it's because the industry has changed so much, whether it's with technology, social media, whatever's going on? Do you think that they're just don't know that they have to change with the times as well? Like, or do you think happening? that there aren't as many roles for people of color, which is the thing that he didn't say that I felt like he was possibly it's implying. alluding to. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. Totally possible. But I mean, that's totally possible. But also, like, we're getting into this this realm now, which is amazing that they are offering a it, like you go if you look at breakdown service a lot it doesn't even say like I want a Caucasian person here it's like all ethnicities all ethnicities it's all the time yeah. like his agents like there isn't a person listen I agree with you Mina Masood should be making his own stuff he should be reaching out to people he should be doing things like Disney should have his back on this situation either that or Disney has like some sort of no compete that he can't do certain things or like you know because he's Aladdin then he might do an Aladdin too because it was such a big success <laughs> well, they, they might do Aladdin too over at Disney, so we could see that possibly yeah. working out for him, or right. like, or do, or do like an Aladdin series with him, or something like that. But again, this boils down to the fact that he is represented by agents and managers, and he can't like there are things that he can go out and try and do. But at the end of the day, he is still at the mercy of his representation, yeah. and his representation ought to be ashamed of themselves. There are so many projects out there from Amazon to Apple TV. There is millions of projects Thank you. for somebody yes. that was just yes. Aladdin. Yes. He was Aladdin. Yes. 
it sucks that if you're not making your own content, sometimes you're at the mercy of 2019 or whatever year you're in. So I, I just recommend that any up and coming actors that are watching this uh, or performers in general, start learning to make your own shit so yeah. that you can be seen in a different light. It just sucks so that it is 20, it's almost 2020 and there's- How crazy is that? It's so fucking insane. But uh, I, I don't understand how these roles are still these are all the most of the roles are that are offered to people of color are these types of roles i just i don't get it like there's so much it's, content there's yeah like you were saying earlier like whatever it was amazon hulu like there's all these streaming services like star wars has put on a you know people of color. Allowed, i don't you get it be trying to write something I, like, yeah that's what no I, you know I, what i'm so saying too. even if it's a comedy of i was just aladdin look at me trying to have to go and audition for a terrorist over and over and over again. hopefully right. there's a young filmmaker out there right now who heard this interview with him and said, I want to write something for uh, right. Mina Masood. That's I, what I'm going to do, and I'm, I'm going. going to cast him. I'm working on something right now. Uh, it's a rom-com, okay? And I, th I thought about this quote last night. I literally did. And I thought about my script, and I went, I wrote the description of the guy. In no way was it described as a white guy. In no way to describe it in any way other than a name, the age, and, and that's about it. Because I want the rest of it to kind of fill in the blank. Why couldn't that be him? Pitch it. That's it, 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 it literally. I mean, think of your guys's think it. of your guys's favorite movies this year. Like, are, why wouldn't he be in them? Like, can, that's my point. He could he could fit in my like. I see him. I'm like, oh, well, that would be great. Dude, I could get a, Aladdin in my script. He was a charming like. Super nice, sweet. Like he could yeah, be in a sitcom. The best. He could be a sitcom actor. <laughs> I'm like, you can put him in anything. Hot. He's really maybe, hot. Maybe also, that's, also, maybe that's who you should think of at night. Uh, seriously, because you know what Cody has done? He's put this squatting picture of Aladdin up there. That's very crotchy from this yeah, angle. Yeah, especially it's got like the MC Hammer bulge I'm going on there. We can zoom in if you like. I like this idea of actually you. I can feel my vagina coming back in three. To, no, it's not that, guys. He kind of looks like, he also looks like Andres Cabrera when he came in. I said that too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ace is a does. very cute guy, too. Ace is extremely good looking. Yeah. So, anyway, we do have a little bit more news. Uh, I do want to mention very quickly, because I'm not allowed to talk about it, but uh, oh. fuck it, because have to. Yeah. Yo, I saw Bombshell last night, and oh. it is the best movie of 2019. Yeah. I'm, I'm seriously not allowed to say anything about it, but I am going to say that, and then I'm going to leave the rest Which to one? December Bombshell 9th again? when I'm allowed to talk more about it. Charlize the, Theron, the uh, Rupert Margot Murdoch Robbie. One. Yeah. Which one? The Rupert Murdoch. Oh, oh the, like the Fox News one? Yeah. 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 The uh, Roger Ailes, yeah, 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 the Fox loudest News. voice, but for a movie. But for a movie. Uh, Did you watch Loudest Voice? No. So you got to watch it. Yeah. I'm going to guarantee I, it. I cannot be wait until I can talk about this effing movie. I tweeted about it. They told me I was allowed to tweet about it. Right. So No, I, so, I'm very excited. Oh, can we so I, I heard also that everybody's uh, talking about Charlize for an Oscar. Yeah. I, I can neither confirm nor deny, but I confirm. Well, can we can we read your tweet? <laughs> yeah, read the tweet. Read the tweet. Okay. Read the tweet. Read the tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Gotta find it. Scroll. This scroll. just in. A bombshell is the best movie of 2019. Even knowing the story, bombshell evokes new emotions. Uh, Charlize Theron deserves the Oscar. Fantastic script, cast score, makeup, and wardrobe. Jay Roach nailed it. There's a fire inside of me. And bombshell movie forced it to burn. All right. Oh, it's so All good. Right. You went. Okay. You almost went full Roka at the end. Check there. that out. Roka always just forced comes up. With, yeah, like he comes like up with metaphor. some like uh, metaphorical you know what, phrase I wrote with the big it, words. I wrote it. and I was like, this is so cheesy, but it's how I felt. So I was like, I don't usually write weird shit like this. Tweet, bitch. Yeah. We, I want to take calls, but also we have more news. Yeah, well, really they, why call don't I in. just mention this real quick? Yeah, mention it quick. Because it's pretty we'll... big. New Planet of the Apes movie is finally in the works over at Disney. So it's the first Fox property to 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 finally to get something going at Disney. Now we don't know if it's a reboot. This is from uh, THR, uh, their exclusive we uh, Maze Runner filmmaker uh, Wes. But who is Ball. it? Wes Ball is going to be behind it, writing and directing it for now. We I really like Maze Runner. I love Planet of the Apes. I think that that trilogy was. Well, first of all, I grew it's up watching one Planet of the best of the Apes. trilogies as all a kid. All time. I, it was like what we watched as a family. We watched so Planet of the Apes, Planet of the Apes. My dad used to play them for us all the effing time. Tim Burton's your favorite? Uh, I don't. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> They're all great. They're all fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mean. <laughs> Planet of the Apes rocks. I loved it. And then, so. <laughs> and then the new trilogy came, and I was super nervous, and it was badass as hell. Yep. And that's awesome. 
Now with this one, I am getting a little nervous like I was prior to the uh, the new three that came out because, like, what are they going to do that's different with the story? Right. Is it a reboot? Is it too soon? Are they, is this, are they, is it a continuation? Who would sign on for the project? Who would be a part of it? Right. Just a lot of questions, but mostly excitement because if they do it right, we know that Planet of the Apes can be awesome, especially mm-hmm. with technology today. Yeah, it, it doesn't have any word on if it's a reboot, if it's a continuation. So TBD on that, I hope it's a continuation. I think they should honor what we have, even though it's a perfect trilogy in my mind. It, re- it really is one of the best trilogies of all time. I don't know if you then pick up years later, get closer to the actual what they were going for here, which is these were all prequels and that sooner or later Planet of the Apes is happening. Do we get closer to that with this continuation or another reboot, which I think could be the wrong way to go? Mm-mm. I was just surprised by this news personally because mm-hmm. I, I I was surprised by any of the Fox uh, franchises coming back. I was because like, we've talked about you know Alien, Alien and, Predator so. will surprise the hell out of me exactly. if it gets going at Disney. Aliens and shit. Aliens yeah. and is there, shit. Yeah. Is there? I mean, there's something to be said about. I mean, I didn't necessarily love the Maze Runner because I felt like it was just kind of like Hunger Games, and I was kind of you're bored not alone by it. in that. Most people didn't like it, but he does have a huge huge franchise. I mean, that is doing something huge with a ton of CGI. You can't things can't be taken away the fact that he has done a giant property, so maybe continuing on with the Planet of the Apes franchise, getting a big director like this that knows how to direct big spectacle kind of a situation sure. might not and be And I don't idea. think most people's problem with Maze Runner was how it looked. Maze no. Runner looked pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Uh, not it's that, just that, not that that's all that again. Not that that's all the director does. I just mean that I, I'd never heard, like, I didn't like Maze Runner because the direction was horrible. People didn't like the script a lot of the time. Uh, Although I, I personally love it. Just, yeah, my nieces loved it. So we just but got it, we got hammered at that point with hot teens running movies, which was <laughs> Hunger Games, Allegiant, Maze Runner. Like, yeah, like all three Virgin came out the same at the same time. I loved them all. And they, uh, there were people that loved them all too. And hot it was, teens running, baby. That's was, my thing. I guess it was hot teens running. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that to be my thing. Yeah. Can they be over 18? <laughs> sure. I had her 20. Hot 20s running. Apparently my goal right now is to make myself more hated than Josh. I love hot yeah. teens. Nobody can like, do that today. What? That's clearly It's honest. fine. Let's just think you're talking about the teens that are actually important that aren't real teens and they're actually legal. So yeah. Okay. But anyways. Only, anyways. Only legal teens. <laughs> yeah. We got a phone call. Yay! Uh, I guess let's take it. Are we taking a break or <laughs> not on, taking a break? We're, we're gonna, but we'll take this call first because they're on. Collider, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Dagan calling from Vermont. Hey, hey Dagan. Dagan. Dagan from Vermont. Are you snowed in? Yeah, we got about two feet of snow this past week. Wow, weekend. damn. That's fun. Now, damn, damn. What's going on? What do you got for us crazy. today? Hey, I just uh, first off wanted to say uh, how much I'm loving the show now with Roxy and Dorina hosting. It's like become you, must-see TV for me. Yeah. Aww. Wow, I really awesome. appreciate that. That's awesome, Dagan. I, I love the direction you're going with it and... Uh, also, what's up, Josh McCougar? What's up, Dagan? Wild Berries! <laughs> Wild berries. <laughs> I thought he screamed, I'm married. <laughs> no, no I'm, I'm not, but... Uh, I'm no, married! I, I was Wild Berries! I love it. Wild I love berries. it, man. <laughs> Let's hope the Wild Berries get a match in 2019, 2020. That'd Ooh. be great. Yeah, hopefully you guys don't get split up in the draft either. I, I agree. See that happen. Yeah, me too. I'm still going to try to jo- uh, draft Josh, even though he doesn't want it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yes, Roxy is the Wild Berries manager. Let's make it happen. Yeah, but yeah. She, we don't need a manager. We just we you just have need, to have one though. No, we 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 we're a non-conference Notre Dame like team. We just yeah, we go very out, true. We you go can't you, you can't box yeah. you guys in. You got to you got to I held you your free. leg while you kegged. That's true. That's, true. That's a manager. You know who loves also You're an manager, Roxy. Thank you. you know who loves kegging? Dagan. Wow. Boom. I didn't know where you were That's going. Great. So, Dagan, you got a question for us? Yeah, I actually I used to drink, but I don't anymore. Oh, that's so all right. I don't, I don't quite kick like I used to. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> I was wondering. Um, you, I think Darina had mentioned that you were talking about getting more like music, music and uh, musicians on the show. We'd love to. Yeah. Uh, at at some point, I I would like to make a suggestion. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm a huge uh, fish fan. Oh, yeah. Oh, Same. Gosh, Are you fantasy. kidding? Me oh, too. Yeah. That would be huge. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're actually playing it, playing in Pittsburgh tonight. I'm not even joking. No way! Uh, Get the hell out of here! That's I'm, amazing. I love a good jam band, <laughs> yeah. man. Nothing more fun than Wait, a fish yeah. concert. All right, Degan, give me, give me the... Uh, like, how, many, how many times have you seen fish live? 
uh, almost 60. Now. Ooh, Whoa, yes. you're a fish head. All right, so, so my, my, my last two <laughs> in my bucket list of fish songs live that I haven't seen are NICU and Mangoes. Have you seen those? Yes, I actually just saw them in uh, Providence, and they played uh, NICU. Damn, what a good song. Awesome. Providence. Song. Yeah, 60 times, a man. Of, uh, great live Jake, thank you so much for calling in. We, oh, go ahead. Mm. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, I would suggest uh, getting John Fishman or Trey Anastasio on the show. Uh, yeah, if Trey came on this show, I did. would literally have a heart attack I on think the floor. So. Same. Uh, I mean, I would die. <laughs> that would be I feel awesome. like I might die. Trey's amazing, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for yeah. the call. I, the Great thing call. is with the musicians, because all of us are huge music fans, but Darina and I, that's where like our backgrounds come from. Right. So we are obsessed with the, the idea of having more musicians on the show. Right. But because this because of what Collider does, the most times the publicists that reach out to us aren't the publicists of musicians. So if you're listening to this publicist, we are not only open to having musicians on, but we are actively going after them right yes. now. Right. So yes. hopefully, hopefully especially, soon we'll be having that more. Especially because we got some stuff planned for the new year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so, and I think there's going to be some uh, updates to these shows and more that will one. hopefully include more music and, and yeah. more other types of entertainment that's not just film TV. Because, if you guys oh, yeah. care about me at all, in 2020, Bruce Springsteen will be sitting next to us. If you care about I me will at all, die. If you care about me at all, at all. <laughs> if you've ever cared about me, <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. Like just a little bit. What do we care about you? If bit? you cared about me at like, all, like is that? Like is, is that, that at like, all? What if I we care? Cody, about let's, like, let's take a fucking break. We'll be back like soon. That. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Dorian. Oh, the fucking dog has to say, God damn.
Welcome back to Collider Live. Darina's picked up a new instrument. It's called the finger tappers. It's trying to be a lame DJ. Mm. Yeah. What is this, Cody? Is this royalty music or is this yeah. something cool? Guys, when are you going to learn? 100% God of this. God damn it. It's royalty this, free. It's cool. What, did that <laughs> come by? This one you could tell. <laughs> That's a solid joke. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Like I make it every time and it's funny every single time. You're making Cody laugh. You know what time today. it is, though? Game time. Oh, it's game Yay! time, bitches! Yeah, let's so go. so excited. Let's pump some iron. <laughs> We have ourselves a <laughs> little bit of a game for y'all at Collider Live. You up. Cody, do you have any music you can play for us on this Damn, special God. edition of Would You Rather? But there's a little bit of a twist here, folks. Ooh. It's going to involve Baby Yoda. Oh, right? God. <laughs> and this Would You Rather is basically how far will you go? If you care you about go? me at yes. all, yes. you will get me the Baby Yoda this at is all. The thing. You at have all. to play this. You have to play this as written because you it's sit how in the room far you play you, the game. Correct. How far will you go to save Baby Yoda? Okay? So the would you rather is you have to do would you rather this or watch Baby Yoda die? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's a very tough it's dark thing. And twisted. It's gonna get. I love it. It's gonna start. It, how is he dying? A painful death or a painful Baby Yoda death? dying in across the board is awful. Oh, you get to watch Baby Yoda. You die. have to watch Baby Yoda die. Sleep? He dies. I will stop watching Star Getting Wars. Stabbed. I swear to God, I'm dying. However, off. however, you picture this horrible it's traumatic drowning. event. Uh. This is what you've done to me as a person. If you kill Baby Yoda, I'm out on Star Wars. I will pick it outside of Galaxy's Edge. Right. Not because you didn't let me go when I was commenting on Star Wars as a host of a show on a major YouTube channel, Correct. but because you killed Yoda. Exactly. Good point. So no. it's gonna, some of them are going to be pretty easy. Like, for instance, <laughs> for the room, Do would like you that? rather go to the dentist or watch Baby Yoda die? Dentist. Well, yeah. I really need to we'll go, start to soft. Yeah, yeah, we'll start go to the dentist. I go to the dentist already. Yeah. I would yeah. go to the Just dentist to, teeth, to yeah. save Baby Yoda, for, for sure. sure. Uh, would you rather you do your taxes early? Or watch Baby Yoda oh, die. Do my taxes? I'll do taxes for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cody, I'm out. Watch Baby Yoda die. Taxes. Yeah. Okay. Taxes. Yeah. Good. Would you rather spend a week without your cell phone, or watch Baby Yoda die? This is where things get interesting. Watch Baby Yoda die. Oh. What? I, give me. Here's my cell phone. Here's my cell phone. I would lose my jobs. Jobs. And so Baby Yoda <laughs> dies. Yeah, so yeah. we have a Baby Yoda is going to die over for, the cell for phone. For my jobs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, man, I have I'm to think about phone-ish. this. Oh, I would, uh, my cell phone? For a full week. Take it, full week. Seven days. Seven days. I would Sunday I would actually Sunday. like to be without my phone. So I don't want to need my phone. So you just went on a I'm cruise going. where you didn't have a phone for seven days. It was days. fucking amazing. I'm going to set up a, an away but I, message. But I could take photos, though. Okay. I'll set up away messages on my email and text that, like, hey, uh, I'm sacrificing a week for Baby Yoda. That's and oh. I would take the week. There yeah, you go. Same. See? You can play that. You can do that. But also I want my phone. But can Would you? But, even, but if you didn't have your job, do I have my Scott, computer? Can, do I have my computer? You have your computer. Oh, oh, what is oh, okay. what exists oh. in if this sentence? If I have my sentence. computer, my phone goes to my computer. That's Great. fine. No, okay. no. All right, I, I saved it. See, yeah, you figured out a loophole. This is the game. Do you understand here? Should we, Look should at you we, being sneaky. Should yes. we say to the uh, to the people at home if you guys have a good Would You Rather or yes. Baby Yoda, call in. Yeah, call we are going to be taking would calls you in about five minutes. I'll give you a couple more, and then the audience plays along. We want your reaction. Your Would You Rather. So here's another one. Would you rather only eat deviled eggs for a year mm. or watch Baby oh, Yoda I love die? Deviled I feel eggs. like you would die. No, they, they have all the main nutrients in deviled egg. No, Cayenne, a lot of protein. Egg. No. Yeah, give me that food. No. I love those deviled this, eggs. This I put in particular for me because this them? is tough. I hate them. Do you hate eggs in general or no, just I love deviled eggs? eggs? I love deviled, deviled eggs. Deviled eggs too. are the devil. Why? Because they're the disgusting. The devil is delicious. They're disgusting. I guess so I would, I would eat deviled, deviled eggs. eggs for a year to save Baby Yoda. Yeah. No, what same. about a food you hate, though? Roxy, I, I got one for you. Cheese? Yep. I would actually kill Baby Yoda myself. <laughs> <laughs> I almost put that in there, Roxy, but I didn't want to put you through that. See, I wouldn't eat I the would deviled never. eggs because I would feel bad for you guys because by day 1.5. That breath? No, my Your farts fart? would, would, they would clear out this entire studio. Right. Like Cody would smell it through the brick wall. So we either so either Baby Sorry, Yoda Cody. dies or we all die what is what you're saying. What brick wall? This is drywall. Well, there's well, brick there. Speaking of which, and Cody. breath. What direction are your farts going? <laughs> now, Cody, <laughs> Alex, I want to hear you your your guys' answer. Yes. For the which one? Deviled for the eggs. first Deviled for the eggs. phone. Uh, yeah, I would, I would. For all these so far, I'd keep Yoda alive. Okay. I would Same. Think. 
Same. Give me them books. Don't need no phone. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Give me them books. Oh, Should we make it? Why you're not getting laid? Should we make it a little harder? <laughs> like a lot harder? But then why sure. aren't you getting laid? Okay. Sure. I don't know. This one I'm gonna <laughs> like, ask. I don't read. I'm gonna ask this specifically to Darina. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh shit. Would you rather? And you can use a cage for this. Would you rather swim with great oh. white sharks? Or save Baby Yoda. And I can use a cage? You can use a shark cage. So I just they're added not going to kill me. You don't know that. We don't know that, The way though. you asked your question was not good. Because yeah. <laughs> you said, or save Baby Yoda. Well, or watch so Baby Yoda dead. Yeah, Baby yeah. Yoda. yeah. Well, would you rather swim with great white sharks, you do have a cage, or watch Baby Yoda die? If they don't, if they don't kill me, if I know they're not going to kill me, don't we know. don't know that. I mean, know. actually, because I'm, if, even if I'm in the cage and a great white shark comes and hangs out with me, I, just, I will probably die of a heart attack. Uh, so in that case, I might as well do it and I'll die and sacrifice myself. You for sacrifice yourself. That's right. that's perfect. Sans cage. What? You can't without have a cage. the cage. I think it's Sans. Baby Yoda fucking dies. Sans. <laughs> it's French. Baby Yoda, dies, baby Yoda in that dies. Case. Sans cage. Baby Yoda dies. Is it Sans or Sans? But if you're gonna sacrifice yourself Sans. anyway. <laughs> Yeah, but I'd rather die of a heart attack by seeing a shark than being eaten, eaten by alive, a shark. alive, yeah. I, I might be with you on that one. Yeah. I like sharks. I would do that shit for pay to do I'll it. Punch but a, a shark. great white shark, like, they, he will eat you. He or she will eat you. Not in Listen, a cage. I, I but swam if you're in out of a cage. Oh, no, I would not do that. Yeah. You'd have to be an idiot. Yeah, exactly. I swam in high school. I could punch a shark, no problem. That shark comes at me. Wah! Yeah. What? what does that have to do with swimming? Because yeah, I'm fast in the water. Do you, no. in swim, As his when you're giant swimming, you fucking your punches? mouth you, is open. What'd you say, Cody? We have to set that up. We have to set. <laughs> we do have to Josh set that up. Josh punches a great way. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, let's let's take one more before we open up the call. <laughs> one more. This is a. Uh, would you rather? Brush your teeth with spiders. Oh god! Or watch Baby Yoda die. I don't even understand. How would you wait, brush wait, your wait, teeth? Like all the like, spiders like you, in there. They're dead, and you grind it up, and no, they're all alive. And no, they're in your mouth, picture, and you got to brush them. Just pl- just picture spiders, tons of them, and you're brushing your teeth. I I mean in my mouth for how yes. long? A minute for how long? For how long? How long do Dennis recommend yes. you brush your teeth? Spiders. That's how long. Spiders don't bother me, so I don't care. You're going there. Yeah. Because I'd be the baby Yoda fucking dead. I couldn't do this one. No do you way. hate spiders? I hate spiders. If, if that word was cockroach, then I would never. I, I'm so afraid of cockroaches, I could cry. So, But if it's spiders, I would do this. Okay, okay. so I have one for you then, Roxy. Would you rather sleep in a coffin with cockroaches or watch baby Yoda? I die? would literally rather do anything than right. sleep in a coffin with cockroaches. Okay, we know limits now. Did I tell you my cockroach story? No, I don't want to know. When I was a kid? I don't want to know. Really when I was a kid, I was in the toilet. And then two cockroaches like ran up my legs. Do you remember? Do you remember awesome. from inside the toilet? Do you remember no, our old writer's like room? On the floor. Floor. Josh, yes. A cockroach <laughs> went up my pants leg, and I and I I went like, ah! and it fell out. I couldn't believe it. When I was you shat when I was not living <laughs> with Ben, but dating Ben, he came out was sleeping over my place, and all of a sudden he turned and was talking to me. We were both laying in bed, and there was a cockroach just crawling oh on yeah. him. Uh, and I, I screamed, and he jumped up, and the cockroach went flying, and I moved out of the... We moved in together like a week later. That was... Yeah, that was my old place uh, in Long Beach. It was, it was like infested with cockroaches. Enough. Cody, Alex, sharks, snakes, cockroaches. cockroaches. Yeah, I think I'm letting the uh, Yoda die at that <laughs> yeah. point. Yeah. Okay. So none of them. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, to Yoda's Darina's dead. point, you wouldn't would you rather sleep in a bed with a snake? No, no baby Yoda's watch baby dead. Yoda. Okay. Baby Let, let's Yoda's open up the calls. Dead. Let's take some calls. Uh, make a cockroach sound when they call in. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Don't have better than those. a snake hiss. I, uh, Ooh, I one time, I went um, back in the day at the University of Pittsburgh. Uh, I swam there and stuff. And you had to go down to get certain, like, swimming equipment. And it was damp and, you know, it was in the city and everything. And so uh, my buddy went down there and he was joining like the scuba class because the pool was really big and he went and he didn't check you're supposed to like put your finger in the in the breathing apparatus mm. before you put it in your mouth because they get cockroaches in there and he ah, and he do ah, it and he sucked ah. he sucked in a cockroach and then he was like oh and he spit out this gigantic cockroach <laughs> onto the pool deck everybody I mean everybody lost him I was like 14 years old that's awesome everybody screamed that's great I love that yeah. story that's a cricket. Oh. No, <laughs> apparently it's a cro- uh, cockroach. Oh, really? cockroaches make that Oh. Sound. It looks like that makes a call worse. then. Like a you are on Collider Live. Oh, that's What's going on? Where are you calling from? Hey, guys. It's Luke Nelson in hey. New York City. Hey, Luke. 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 What's up, dude? Oh. Can you save Roxy from puking? I'm headed your way Friday there, Luke. It's fucking hey, disgusting. Nice. Yeah. 
Are we still playing the game? We yes. sure are. Yes. Uh, yes. Are you ready right. to save Baby Yoda? <laughs> I am. So, okay. Uh, this is special for Josh. Oh. Uh, would you rather uh, never see uh, Bad Boys 4 <gasps> or watch Baby Yoda die? Oh, oh good one, Luke. Ooh, very good one. Luke. Luke. The movie, the Baby Yoda's dead. What are you doing to me, man? That's it's like dope. two of my favorite things right now. Choose. This but is, you can uh, still see Doolittle. Luke, I I you can... know the game. Nailed it, dude. Well hashtag, done, Luke. Hashtag don't see Doolittle. Uh, hashtag I gotta see Baby Yoda die on this one because I've been waiting 15 years, 16 years for Bad Boys for Life. Feels like a very selfish choice. I know. <laughs> yeah. It does. I've made them many times Fate, in my life. But fate I understand of the universe. your choice. Fate of the universe. Might, might be in the balance here, and you're picking Bad Boys 4. Great. You know what? I have I have more loyalty to the Miami PD, the TNT, the tactical <laughs> narcotics team than I do Baby Yoda. May Couldn't the force be more. with you. <laughs> Until you pick bad boys. <laughs> correct, correct. Thank you for the call. Good that question. was great. Good question. Unreal. Cody will take another one when you've got it. I like seriously feel sick. From the cockroach in your mouth you story? you got to stop saying it. Sorry. Roxy, oh. what about this one from Dick Smoke? Would you rather swim in a pool of melted cheese, Ooh. whiz, or kill Baby Yoda? Cheese, cheese whiz. whiz. Okay. Oh, t- t- I'm, I'm swimming I in that pool. I don't have to eat it, right? I no. can swim in it. Yeah. It's fucking disgusting, but I'd do it. Yeah. Okay, collar. Oh. Is that a cockroach? Oh. That's a hissing, a hissing cockroach. cockroach. Oh! Yeah. Uh, welcome, oh! Welcome to Collider Insect Live. <laughs> <laughs> who you got? Who, you, who are you? Where are you calling from? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh. Hello? Hello? Bueller? You're on Collider Live. Or not. You guys know what water is lose in him, your Cody? mouth? Yeah, he's still Him there. The pu- he is still there? Someone's on it's the line. probably from oh. Saul. <laughs> is it Saul? I don't know. You guys, it's the like, salt it'll you call. You see this yeah. little spit in my mouth? It's like, nice. oh, okay, well, I guess we got to hang up it? on but this we lost him, whatever oh. it is. That was totally drool. Are you drooling? That's what it's doing right now. It's like, are you puking drool? <laughs> That's how it feels. It's like so fucking wet in there right now. Uh, Whoa, Roxy. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take <laughs> your mind off it. I'm glad one of your I'll take your mind off it. Ready, Roxy? Would you rather trim a random person's toenails... Or watch Baby Yoda die. Trim a random person's toenails. Okay. Everybody knows I have no problem with feet, except yeah. when people on the internet try to see mine, and it's just weird. Yeah, I would, I would, I don't mind toenails. Okay. See, I this would Hello? this would stop me. People I, like I would do that for a living. Hello. Yeah. Oh, Hello? We, oh, we got a person oh, on. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? Who the Hello, are you're you? on Collider <laughs> Live. Hello. I'm, yeah, I'm uh, Chris from Cleveland. Hey, Chris. Oh, Cleveland. Oh. Sorry about your loss last weekend, pal. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Chris, cool. get these cockroaches yeah. out of my head. What do you got for us? Yeah, I wanted to know if Josh has watched uh, Godfather of Harlem on Epic. It's pretty awesome. Oh, he, Dude, Chris like, didn't want to play our game at all. Chris not at play all. The game. Uh, Does not give a shit about Baby Yoda. Chris, <laughs> I watched the I I watched the first episode. They're all sitting there waiting for me to watch. I love the first episode. I can't wait to watch more. I'm like I'm all about this show. Chris, you sit in the room. You play the game. Thanks for calling. Oh, wow. Oh. Roxy, this is how the Reddit thread starts. Roxy is a dictator. Hey, Chris, I respect that. Chris, Roxy, you, you don't change. In the room. You call into the room. Fuck it in, Roxy Stryer. <laughs> Chris, I like the question still, though. He hung though. up. Well, <laughs> I didn't have to hang up on him. Oh, boy. Guys, currently, I, Chris, I love you. I'm sorry. Currently creating. Not sorry. Chris is, Chris is currently creating a subreddit for both yes. Roxy and Josh McCougar. Oh, ugh, ugh, ugh. Uh, Cody, please okay. let us know. Oh, <laughs> God. You are a insect. caller. You are on Collider Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, my God. Hi, this is Garth from Boston, Mass. Garth! Hey, Garth! Hey, Garth! Help, Garth, help hey, me! <laughs> I was going to tell a bad cockroach story from my childhood, but I'll skip it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Uh, Roxy's having a rough day. Unless it involves... Uh, the yeah, friends no. thing happened, and then the cockroach thing. It's been uh, really hard. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll skip that story and ask you, uh, would you rather uh, get a face tattoo, uh, something horrible, like oh, like a minion, oh. on your, right on your forehead, or watch Baby Yoda? Oh, oh, R.I.P. Baby Yoda. You know Yoda. how to play the game. Yeah, R.I.P. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100% killing Baby Yoda. Yeah. Do you guys know that when I went home for vacation for Thanksgiving, my dad told me that he was thinking about getting Mike Tyson's face tattoo? No, let me call. Can Did I, he ca- do can it? Can I talk to your dad? I was like... Are you being fucking serious? <laughs> My dad doesn't have one tattoo on his body. So he's like, going straight face. He's going all in. Yeah. Was he serious? He was like, I think it, I've always thought it was so cool. Hmm? 
I maybe he can do it when he's like Garth, 70 thank or you something. so much. I got I had a classic like uh, foot and mouth uh, moment, which happened today as well. Uh, <laughs> but it, we, we were out to lunch, and there was this. Our waitress was just so lovely. She was like she was such a sweetheart, but she had this like growth of neck tattoos like curling oh, yeah. up her face. You had neck tattoos, and I man. was like I was like, did, why do you have those? You asked her? I, yeah, and Amanda was like, Amanda just smacked me, and she was like, uh, uh, "Sorry, I just like you're so you're just your your personality doesn't fit this." And she was like, "Yeah, my teen years were pretty crazy." Yeah, and I was like, see, there she regrets them, but you can't, like it is impossible to get rid of tattoos. Like it, it would take her years to laser that oh, stuff off. Oh, the sound! Could I love it. it. Call her. You're on Clyde Alive. What's your name? Where are you calling yeah, from? It's it is going down. It's great. Hey, this is Nathan again from Houston, Texas. Hey, Nathan. Houston. Hey, Nathan. Nathan, what do you got? <laughs> Save Roxy. Hey, Darina, I got a question for you, actually. Uh -huh. Okay. Would Shoot. you rather see Baby Yoda die, or would you rather see in a Batman Beyond movie Michael Keaton come back? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> I am over Baby Yoda. Good, good answer. <laughs> good, great, great question, Man. Nathan. Michael oh, yeah. Keaton. Well, Baby Yoda had a good Man. run. Yep. The, uh, Michael Keaton super. I'm sorry, supersedes Baby Yoda. I, I, I will say I this. I've gone to a different place. Yeah, Roxy is in the dark. I'm somewhere else. She's in the sunken place. Think about right Michael now. Keaton instead. Then you're happier. Let me say this. You agree, right, Josh? If Michael Keaton was like, they like, hey, he's coming back for Batman Beyond. I may not watch Bad Boys. <laughs> What? Okay, okay. Hold on. Yes! You, you are talking about my two favorite things in movies. Yes! Michael Keaton. I feel and like Bad I don't know you anymore. I know, I'm sorry. You didn't say Baby Yoda, but, but dude, this. Dude, what is written inside your ring finger? I know, I know, I know. It, uh, but it, does it say but Michael, Michael Keaton, Keaton? Or does it say Ride Together? Michael Keaton is, together. is the best. No, the best. Know, your, yeah. know yourself. Yep. Just say, How epic Michael would it be Keaton if it's as Batman Michael again. Keaton. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I might. I'm, <laughs> I actually, yeah. Baby Yoda dies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. For, yes, for that's these, right, Josh. I, I have to be dead. Bad boys. Oh, okay. Michael Keaton. Holy Yoda. shit, it's so bad. It's, Caller, you're on Collider yeah, Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? It does get me in the back. And, and right you can at this point, you can talk about anything you fucking want, as long as it's not cockroaches. <laughs> and literally anything now. You sit in the room, you do whatever you want. <laughs> Who are you? Hello. Oh, ah, Cody's having God time. damn it. Who are you? Where are you calling Hello? from? Yellow? Hi. Hello? Hi. It's Calvin. Hey, this is, uh, this is, uh, Calvin Shoemaker. Yeah, oh, Calvin. Calvin. Calvin with the sexy Johnson voice. City, Johnson City! Calvin, can you do me a favor and, oh, and can you say you have a call so we can clip it out and play that when callers call in? Uh, I have a call. Uh, this is a call from uh, Calvin from Johnson City, Tennessee. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, well, we're not going to know it to you, but at least it's a good call. Uh, yeah. I also want to say, uh, Odios mio, uh, mucho bonita, <laughs> papacita, Dorina. Papasote con esa voz. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, very I pretty, Dorina. Calvin, you, <laughs> you, you come prepared, dude. Pretty. Yes. Uh, Calvin, what do you got for us today, man? Uh, I do have a question. Before I get to that question, uh, I wanted I, I was trying to call in. I wanted to tell Roxy, Damn. Uh, you know, uh, I, I wanted to tell you that you, you know, uh, I appreciate you. I see you all over the place. You're on Screen Junkies. You're on After Buzz. You're all over the place. This is one of the hardest working women on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, I appreciate you trying that. To, you trying to get it in, Calvin? What's going on? Because I already told you it's closed for business, but uh, <laughs> for you, we might open back up. Oh! oh no, shit! Oh, I, love, I love his voice. Whoa. It is. Guys, nothing, nothing works better on Grand me. Grand reopening. Nothing works better on me than somebody acknowledging how hard I work. Yep, yep. <laughs> Calvin, thank you so well, much. I know you have a question well, for yeah. us. What do you got? Oh, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I want to say what's up to Makuga. What of up? Of course, as always. What up, man? And uh, and I want to tell my I never give Mark Riley any love. Hey, Calvin. Thank don't, you, don't, brother. Don't forget that. I love you. I love him. Anyway. You're the best, uh, dude. My question is, best actress mm. of the year. Who's the best actress of the year? Great question, Thank Calvin. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. It's a hundred, well... I was going to say it's got to be Charlize, but yeah, also you're going to go Jojo Rabbit? Mm -hmm. Florence Pugh. 
in mm. everything. Midsummer, yeah, Little Women. Little Women. She was great in Midsummer. She's I'll fucking give her that. amazing. Yeah. Florence Pugh. Okay. But what if it's Scar? Did you see Fighting with My Family? Yeah. What if it she, is she's Scar Joe? Oh. Yeah. What if it is? Yeah, what, if, what if it's Scar Joe? But she would talk. be more supporting actress. She's no, supporting I'm not, actress. I'm not, no, I'm not talking about Oscars. Just who's the best actress of the year? I think that means multiple different roles, right, like right. all of the things. Okay. Well, what, Scar Joe was amazing in Jojo Rabbit. What else? And then Marriage Story. Endgame. And well, shit. Mm-hmm. But Florence Pugh, I love her. <laughs> well, I didn't I'm see Midsummer, pew, 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 and pew, I Florence didn't pew, pew. see. Was Fighting My Family too? Fighting, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. good. I like yeah. Fighting My Family. I did too. Uh, I was gonna immediately go to ScarJo. I think she's yeah, had an she's great. awesome. It might be her. If she can. If and she I can heard. Stop and, uh, trying to do the other what was the other one? <laughs> what was the one with Adam Driver? Marriage uh, Story. Marriage Story. Oh, oh. I've heard she's amazing in that as well. So yeah, I've seen that, see but that. Alex, you've seen it twice uh, now. Also, because it was like. earlier this year, and I think people forgot about it, I thought uh, Lupita Nyong'o in Us was incredible. She was amazing. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. And even, even, um, and Josh, how do you feel I, about I, that? I, I had, fucking, what do you I think, Josh? I literally can't fucking listen to that anymore. It, I, as I was sipping the fucking tea with the... Whoa. Yeah, are you Whoa. swallowing you spiders right the, now? Deal with the call, Dorena. Deal with the call. You are deal Uncle Lighter Live. Oh, Please help God. us say it's Roxy. Like... Who are you? Where are you calling from? My name's Mark. I'm from the Spain Division from Britain. All right. Hey, Mark. Is it Mark? Is it... What do you say? Yeah. Johnny, was it Robert Jones? From where in Britain? No, I'm in Spain now. He's in Spain, but he's from Britain. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. That's awesome. What 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 are you calling about today? Well, I was going to ring up about Kill Baby Yoda, but I think it's a bit too disgusting to air. Oh, please but do I'm it fine. if it's disgusting. As long as it doesn't have to do with cockroaches, lay it on us. Okay, then. Would you rather drink from a blood cup or see Baby Yoda die? Uh, obviously, oh. Darina and I are drinking from the blood cup. <laughs> oh, is it just like a cup full of blood? Uh, great. But it's a cup that was full great. Of, Thank you. Oh, that blood. menstrual blood. Oh, no, yeah. Have oh, you, do you know what oh, a menstrual the cup blood is? Cup. Uh, Ew. Oh, now I get it. It's yeah. instead of a so, tampon or a pad, we talked so, about this yesterday. You sit in the room, you play the game. Inside, and then it, it carries your blood. Whose blood cup? Then, mine or somebody else's? <sighs> Well, it's blood is blood for vampires, Roxy. No, my menstrual blood's got to be See different than you yours. I, no, um, yeah. So you guys are not drinking the mens- the period blood? No. I think baby Yoda's dead. Okay. Not, <laughs> have no, you, have you ever, so you have never you ever had sex with your significant others when they're say. on their period or gone yes, down on them? Yes. So then wh- okay. you've already well. drank blood then? No. no. It's, you're talking a cup. <laughs> Well, All right. It's a, it's a little different than working around the area. Cody, answer the question, Cody. We have a call. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I told you we're not taking any more calls. Do we really have one? Yeah. Fine. Caller, you're on Collider Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, my name is Ben. I'm from uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Oh. Hey, Ben. Hey, ben. Like, ben. Uh... I have a history of dating guys named Ben. Want to be my next? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's flattering. Uh, so basically... <laughs> uh, I know. Yeah. Not a lot of yeah, boxes to check there. Name Ben. Good. Let's do Does. this. <laughs> Me, good. Bang bang boom. <laughs> so, yeah, so my question is like I grew up in the 2000s and like I just noticed some trends in films and it seems like like you know the post 9/11 films were like very very cynical and want to be very dark and very very gritty. And I'm wondering, like, after, like, Game of Thrones is finally over now, like, if we're going to transition to a more earnest kind of era of films. So what do you guys think? I think that... Thank you, Ben. Yeah, Great thank you so ben. much for the call. Good, good question. With things like Jojo Rabbit, I think that... The, and everything going on with the world, I feel like satire has a place more now than ever. Mm. Granted, I know that I was the one who was crapping all over the Michael Jackson musical. Josh, if you haven't heard about this you would be on the same page as me dude blame it on the glove Uh, wild we'll talk about it a different time but i think that comedy satire uh i think we got to go in that direction for the next couple of years agreed i still taste cockroaches well i also feel like when when the world news is like even worse than usual people that's when people make the best art and not just comedy but also horror and 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 other genres picasso exactly Mm -hmm. so I, I don't know. I, I think uh, definitely Jojo Rabbit is a beautiful movie that everybody needs to see. Agreed. Uh, but there's also, um, I, I think the earnestness is still there. You can find it on like the freaking CW, uh, you know, DC shows. Like those are super, but that's why they bother me because they're like too sweet. Yeah. Right? But, yeah. but, but it is out there. They're not Michael yeah. Keaton. No. Sweet is sexy. 
Yeah. Hmm? Mm. Calvin is sexy, according Calvin to Calvin is sexy. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. They're all sexy. You got you were winning today, really. Yeah. I mean, I? you might have been losing with the cockroaches and friends, but all of a sudden you got two boyfriends. They're fighting it out <laughs> over the phone mm -hmm. from Virginia Beach to Johnson City, Tennessee. Saul, trying to don't get you it. Open Saul for could not have commented on more posts yesterday about how not in love with me he is. <laughs> <laughs> that which only proves that color point that he is. All right, we gotta get the fuck out of here. So uh guys, don't forget heroesvillains.com live ten for ten percent off this dope ass swag the most evil of all time Darina will be here tomorrow morning oh, oh no <laughs> look what he's doing I was like what the fuck just Thank happened you, Cody, Mark Riley Josh McCuga will also be here uh, and I miss you. it will thanks be thanks for having me on your show oh, oh Joshy oh. Yeah, what I, I'm gonna yeah I'll be here tomorrow I know, but you won't yeah. I know I know do we have a fourth tomorrow we do who is it we'll talk we'll figure oh, it out okay, cool. I'm sure oh, there will be one Cody Alex all the people uh Hope you guys have a better taste in your mouth than I do right now. Fucking Jesus. cockroaches. See you tomorrow morning.